Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the Social Guys. Trey Grains here, as always, with me, co-host Colin Jarvis. What's up? What's good, dude? Another great day to be live, Trey. Dude, we, got, live. we got a pretty uh, exciting show lined up. We got Jason Ernest coming on uh, from mm-hmm. Apollo Career Center. He is their um, multimedia teacher over there. I'm really excited about it. Talking to him a little bit before the show. I think this guy is my spirit animal. Like, <laughs> like he's my dude. I would, I would say you hit it off pretty good. I even told him that actually before he came on the show. I was like, you're really going to hit it off with Colin, I believe. I like to think that you and I are pretty reasonably friendly. Well, we're pretty social guys, as yeah, it turns out. Yeah, but like, yeah, uh, yeah this, this is going to be a good one. Yeah, I agree. I agree. What did you do over the past weekend? Oh, past weekend. Um, not a lot, man. I, I had to work a little bit on Saturday, which is a bummer. What the hell did I do on Saturday? Do you work, do you work every weekend? No. Oh, okay. Only when I have to. Gotcha. Um, <laughs> the, uh, fuck, Fair. I did do something Saturday night. I really don't remember. All right, you go first. What'd you do this last weekend? Um, I watched football. Um, Me cause too. I always do that. Um, except for Tuesdays when I tell my wife that there's no more, um, Tuesday night football. So. Yeah. Yeah. Tuesday nights when, you know. Yeah. When uh, when the houses are rocking at the Reigns uh, <laughs> residence, because that's the only night the football's not on. <laughs> so, but no, we, um, yeah, we watched football. Obviously, when we'll talk about this, we're getting into the current events today, you know, Ohio State. Utah, made it. Ohio State, getting that, yep. Man, that TCU yep. game was crazy. I was I saw living on cloud nine. Utah, that was kind of nuts. Um, that, yeah, I didn't that was see crazy. TCU, I saw Utah. The TCU game was insane. I was at my daughter's birthday party mm-hmm. watching it. Um. <laughs> yeah. Good job. Way to go. Oh, that's what Father I did this weekend. Year. My daughter's birthday party. <laughs> well, I was gonna say I remember what I did. We went. <laughs> we we went out Saturday night, but forgetting that we went out makes it sound like we got like annihilated, which is not true. Oh, it's the opposite. We're getting old. Did you go out Saturday night? Yeah. Where? Uh, the Alpha. I was I was out Saturday night. Out. I was out it, Saturday night. Well, we were at the Alpha. Um. But we, like, me and my friends, but me in particular, are getting old as fuck, dude. Yeah. Like, 11 o'clock rolls around, and I'm just like, guys. I, Is that what time you were there? Uh, this is the time I left. So I, well, I went home and went to bed. I we, was like, we, wow. we, we left Tipbacks, which is a local, like, uh, it's a, bre- like a craft brewery bar. Bar. Yeah. Not a brewery. It's yeah, a it's a craft bar. Yep. Um, we left there about 1130, but we did that uh, the Krampus crawl. You know, Jill was telling me about that. It was um, fun. It, I didn't even hear about it till like the day before. So doing it next year. Okay. For sure. Too. All right. So. Um, yeah. Uh, we, I talked to the owner a little bit about uh, helping to market and stuff like that. So mm-hmm. we'll see what we can work out there. But um, yeah, uh, it was fun, man. Uh, a lot of people, I, I'm going to go all out next year. I'm getting me a costume for sure. Wow. I mean, I make a mean like, Santa. Yeah, I feel like you just gotta you gotta get into character for that Krampus crawl. Like, I, there were so many people that were in character. Like, I felt left out. Like, like what? Like in character is in like pretending to be Santa or an elf or something? No, no, no. You know where the Krampus is, right? It's what, like the, some fucking evil. Santa, yeah, it's like, like the it's like know. the English version of like a, a like a evil Santa that eats the naughty kids. Sounds more like German to me, but that's just a could guess. Be. I don't know. Could be. Yeah. Well, just because they're all depressing. <laughs> So, so, but no, it was pretty cool though. It was cool. pretty cool. Uh, yeah, a lot of people were dressed up. We were at the Alpha for like an hour and a half. Oh, we okay. were getting old, man. So we started. So the Krampus crawl started at I think four thirty p.m. We got in there at about six, mm-hmm. um, and we bounced from bar to bar. Ended up at Tipex later on at the night. Killed it there at eleven thirty. I tried to buy one last beer. My wife's like, no. So we've all been there. Yeah. Do you, I feel like well, the, I don't have a wife to hold me back. I but. feel like the pastime of bars closing at two o'clock makes me now feel like bars are closing on me at eleven thirty. Yeah, <laughs> like, is that fair to say? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, you know, I just assume once I leave, it's not any fun anymore. Uh, you know, so, true. So who true. cares how late it's open, right? Yeah, I get. I, I was just. I was notorious for closing them down. I know us too. Us too. This is what I'm talking about. We're getting old, man. We're, I mean, me too. Except, except it's better because yeah. except hashtag me too ha- with the bar reference. <laughs> okay, I don't, th- I don't think that's what that is. Oh, okay, okay. Um, it's better though because uh, you know, 
the thing is in Wapak is, you know, you close the alpha down and you're like, well, God, we got to keep drinking. Where are we going? Let's go to Lulu's. You're half blitzed at that point. And yeah, that's, I, that's bad decisions. There. I don't ever need to go there again. No, there's a lot of people that don't need to go there that's, again. That's that's one of the things that like is probably good for me getting old. Like, uh, you know, at least, yeah. at least I'm my all this bar talk. Did you bring a cooler with you? Yeah, yeah, I did. Good. <laughs> did I bring a cooler with me? <laughs> No, but like Lulu's is the thing that happens to you, man. It's like it like you wake up in the morning and you're like, What happened last night? And you're like you're like Oh uh, look at you. Yeah. You're like uh y- you smell like cigarettes and like you Bush. taste death in your mouth and you uh you the woman laying next to you may or may not have all her teeth like uh, you know. It's fucked up, man. Yeah. Yeah, I've never I've been there. But um <laughs> Anyway, no more of that. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, great show coming up. I'm excited to talk to Jason. Uh he brought his wife on the show tonight. We got her on the show and she's going to be actually uh being our MC for tonight with uh Emma and Candy out on us tonight. So, which you guys haven't met her yet, but she will be coming on the show and we'll introduce her and uh get into all that as well. So, we'll plan that out shortly i'm sure before christmas i would hope so. absolutely so wait with that being said let's get the show rolling let's roll it. all right welcome back to the show everybody the social guys hey as always the show is brought to you by rmg reigns management group for your all your digital marketing needs what up jason not much ashley how are you doing over there oh, pretty good Nice to have you guys on the show, man. Thank you. Yeah, Dude. Glad to be here. Yeah, absolutely. So me and Jason, we just recently met, um, <clears throat> probably like not even a few weeks. A few weeks ago. Yeah. yeah. So um and Jason is a teacher at the Apollo Career Center yeah. for multimedia. Yeah, for right? like three months now. Three so, months now. So new, <laughs> so pretty new. So yeah. new job. New yeah. job, right? Yeah. So um jason had actually colin i don't know if i told you this or not jason actually had us come and we did uh me and candy actually did a workshop uh marketing workshop for his students cool. his juniors and his seniors really cool. classes yeah. he's a great guy so, to have do that probably yeah yeah it was it was very fun we had a lot of fun doing it Made um sweat it was great. yeah we yeah. put him on some crunch times it was yeah. it was interesting it was yeah. interesting to see how flustered and people got right and i think that some of the seniors really took it more to heart than what your juniors did though right right and yeah. i think it's just because like they're like it's more personal. Like it's like we're seniors now. We can't mess up. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah, sure, sure. That makes sense. We're gonna have to get a job soon. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> it's just starting to sink in. Right. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So tell us a little bit about how you got into your career field. Where? Where? How did? Uh, what interest you first in um, graphic design and marketing and Photoshop editing video? Because you do it all just like I do. Sure. Sure. So uh, honestly, it's not like. Super exciting in the beginning. I was in high school. I was that kid that did art all the time. And I was like, I need a job. I need something that is going to make somewhat kind of money. Not that a fine arts degree isn't going to get you there, but it's like, it's quite the steep uh, crawl compared to something that, you know, every company needs. So then I started looking at graphic design and then um, went to the college. Um, now they're called the Modern College of Design. It's in Kettering, Ohio. Nice. Nice. When I was there, it was called the School of Advertising Art. Oh, That's, really? Yeah. When did it switch over? Um, probably three or four years ago. Um, so Shit. now they offer a bachelor's pro- program. So they changed. Oh, the okay. Name. Yeah. Before was it only associates program yeah. then? Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. So very small place. Like on, they only accept a hundred students a year. Um, one hallway, eight classrooms. Like when I was there. So wow. yeah. Yeah, and then you have to do so this. So one hallway, race. eight classrooms. Yeah, that's it. And Just then one like, hallway. Like, what's the rest of the building? Sounds like, like a jail, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah, it was. It was pretty They're small. They're called cells. Yeah. Like. <laughs> uh, best way to describe it, it, it kind of looked like. Uh, I said yours is to the left, right? <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of like a, like a like a business almost. Like the way they built it was intentional, so that, like you were like at work, so that you get that feel. Um, but it was, yeah, yeah, it was, I don't know how to describe it other than like, they built it like an agency so you could get used to it rather than. Or a prison. Right. Or a prison. <laughs> you know what? Maybe I was at the wrong spot. They, they make right? you work in prison right. too. Right? Were you in Mansfield? Right. <laughs> uh, Were you making like license plates? <laughs> but the coolest thing about like that school was like. At the instru- Sunday school. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> 
I feel like uh, we can keep going with this. I'll, I'll, I'm, we'll, we'll I'm let sorry. You talk. I'm sorry. Yeah, we'll, we'll let you talk. No, you're good. Uh, <laughs> it was like, so the instructors, they, they only hired like people that were like really into it. So like my photographer teacher, he did, he used to work for Vogue magazine. Oh, nice. Yeah. And like currently they have an instructor there. He worked for Nike. So yeah. it's like they hire people that really Quality. know what they're doing. Oh, yeah. Big dick swingers yeah. over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dang. So it kind well, of felt nice when you graduate heavy hitters. there. Yeah. Maybe yeah. the people that got fired, maybe they're just like, yeah, this guy can't tell. <laughs> 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 Sorry. Like, I just I got mean, fired from Vogue. <laughs> Heading to Kettering. Right. Going over there. <laughs> like going <Yeah>. to Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, it, it, it's nice, like, getting people that are in the industry. Yeah. And then, that I, I would say that was the start where I got really excited yeah. about graphic design and all that. And nice. Then, yeah. Came back home. So. Did, your, did your Nike, the guy from Nike, did he ever have any cool stories about the headquarters out there in Oregon? You know, so he wasn't there when I was there. But okay. I got to meet him. So we, we actually took a field trip there. With to my, Oregon? No, no, no. My students to where I went to school. Oh, okay, okay. And then that's when I got to meet him. And he was like, yeah, I oh. used to work for Nike. And I'm yeah. like, oh, yeah, just for Nike. Like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, way to yeah. throw that one out. Right. Yeah. yeah. I mean, just do it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just do it. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That, that, that's way cool, actually. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're kidding around, but like, right. it's really cool. Oh, absolutely. It's a really cool yeah. place to go to school. Well, especially right. the guy from Vogue, too. I mean, the amount of it, photography experience that a guy oh, yeah. coming from Vogue would have. Yeah, he I was, would assume would be he was strict, but it was like I learned yeah a lot. Like, was he really quick? Was he from America? No, yes, yes. I can't remember where he was originally from. Because a lot of those, a lot of those photographers, yes. like from yeah, like all Vogue over. and stuff, like yeah. that are very. A lot of them actually come from Italy, France, I believe. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he's he was from. I want to say he was on the west coast, and then he came over, and gotcha. then, then he just he had family around here. So when he came here, yeah, yeah, so. It's interesting. Yeah, and then he's gone now. I I think, I think they told me he went to back or something like because hmm. I asked where a lot, a lot of my instructors they either uh, went back in the industry or they actually stepped up. So like a couple of them were like president of the college now. Or gotcha. Like, um, just in charge. How basically. big is it now? Um, I mean they expanded, so it's not incredibly. Two hallways. Yeah, now it's two, two hallways. hallways. Yeah. Um, One stoplight. <laughs> basically, I think they said they can take up to 400 students now. So, oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. okay. Four hallways. Yeah, four hallways. Four hallways. Uh, <laughs> the, probably the coolest thing that is their expansion into their um, studio room. They have a garage door so that you can roll cars in. So that they can take nice. you know, auto photos yeah, and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah. There's a lot you can do with automobiles, yeah. uh, especially with video and photography, yeah. with lighting, fog machines. I mean, there you yeah. can go the whole nine yards. I get a hard on for stuff like that. <laughs> I don't I really do. understand stuff like that, but it's cool. Yeah. We yeah. shoot a Fast and Furious movie. Like... <laughs> no. Uh, uh, <laughs> wow. I would attempt. <laughs> I would be too slow. Right. <laughs> <Well>. <laughs> Fast nine, too slow. Right. Too, too slow. <laughs> yeah, slow two. <laughs> All right. So transitioning from the college, yeah, you got a job. Yeah. How was how was it um, for you coming out of college? What year did you graduate college? So twelve. Yeah. Two thousand twelve. So yeah. in two thousand twelve. So I mean, it was still kind of like you were in that area where, I mean, it was pretty. I don't want to say it was easy because I'm. I don't know how the how that transition was for you. But mm -hmm. I feel like now kids deal with a lot more um, adversity trying to find a job. Yeah. I, f I feel like they deal with a lot more. I mean, I'm not saying there's not jobs out there. There's a there's jobs out there, but I think it's, I think it's more of a, a mental game for some people yeah. to go apply. Yes. Um, to where back in our day, and I don't want to say back in our day, like we're too old. I mean, right. but, but you okay, know, well, if it makes you feel better, I think I got my driver's license that year. So <laughs> <laughs> touche. Yeah. But what I'm saying is though, is that I, I feel like in 2012 though, it was still one of those things where it was like, you know, um, getting a job, finding a job was pretty, pretty yeah. easy. It, it was more accessible to yeah. us. And like, not to keep gloating about the, the college, yeah. uh, they they help find a job for you. So like, oh, nice for keep life. Gloating. Yeah, yeah. So like <laughs> keep gloating. <laughs> gloating. That's badass. It yeah. sounds like I mean we've been laughing around, but that sounds like a badass yeah. like college 
to go to. Yeah, yeah. So I like, would say so. I put I applied like a full to some sale and, type deal. Yeah, really, really <laughs> it is. Like they'll they'll even break down by region, so yeah. they know I was in Northwest. So they're yeah. like, these jobs are available, and yeah, that's how I found out. But. Did, now, I want to say when I was in school, high school, mm-hmm. I didn't realize like marketing was never my go to. Like going into college, my like my go to in my mind because I was doing a lot of. Um, sports filming, and I was doing a lot of sports uh, broadcasting and stuff like that. So I wanted to get into broadcast journalism. Sure. Um, and then I quickly found out there was zero money in that gig unless you were like with really? Fox or yeah, something like yeah. that, you know? So, um, but like, I never knew about like Full Sail University yeah. back in 2006. Yeah. I, I didn't know that was a thing, you know what I'm saying? But now kids can go to college for video games. Right, right. <laughs> I didn't know it was a thing until right now. Yeah. Really? You really? never heard about Full, Full Sail, Sail University? It's in Florida, right? Orlando? Yeah, I remember it being advertised to me, especially where I was wanting to be in. Like, Mm -hmm. I got, you know, letters in the mail and all that stuff. Sure, sure. um, Yeah, it wasn't, like, super accessible. Now, I think it is way more... People know more about it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And the other thing is, is, you know what's crazy is Full Sail University actually has, like, real talent come teach you. Um, Dan Patrick. Do you know who Dan Patrick is? Dan Patrick in the... He does the sports show. He used to be on ESPN for a long time, Cohen, a long time. And I definitely don't know. Um, well, <laughs> what I'm saying is, though, this guy's a legend. And, sure. and he's he's one of those guys where he's like a no bullshit, very blunt type of analyst right. and type of um, interviewer uh, to where he, he just tells it like it is. I love listening to his morning show on the radio. It's Dan Patrick in the morning show. It's a great, great show to listen to, um, especially for sports guys out there. I'm all these guys know I'm a big sports guy. So, um, but no, Dan Patrick is, he goes to full sail to teach classes there. Nice. On the side. Had right. no idea he did. If I knew Dan Patrick would have done like back in You're about to enroll. Right. I've been like, right, um, yeah. Honey, mom, I'm dad, I'm to moving school. to Florida. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah, yeah, it's just, it's insane that, um, what was at our fingertips then is it's more, brought up now i feel right. like and i think social media is a big deal it like, is that's, uh, yeah that's yeah it's, happened yeah. well yeah and that, i mean the internet in general has led right. to everything being more in light yeah so it turns out it's not just a fad uh, right. you know yeah, yeah right right so so from there you got your job what was your first job so within three months i got my job at uh here wapak Canada daily news so nice. that was like a part-time thing i was like it's my start yeah. Yeah. See what I can do. And um I learned a lot. At the same time, I feel like I taught them a lot just because a lot of the, they were stuck in their ways. Like Well But to be fair though, that's probably not a knock on them. Right. This this whole marketing and uh filmmaking, photography, it keeps evolving. Yes. And if constantly. you don't and if you don't keep up right. your new blood just coming into school, I'm not surprised right. yet. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. But the thing is though, yeah, I mean like if you don't keep up, right. you'll get left behind. Right. Mm-hmm. So and at first I, I feel like they were like, just do this, you know, just get where sure. And then they like I would just chime in like when I hear, you know, the reporter talking about the camera and I would tell them a quick setting to change it to. And then all of a sudden they're like Wait, maybe this guy knows what he's talking about. Yeah. They would come up to me and stuff like that. But, it's a prodigy. Yeah, Good I was, hire. Right. <laughs> I think I was there for three years, just right. about three years. Yeah. 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 Part time. I lived in Beaver Dam at the time. So that was a drive. Think about the drive. Yeah. Probably yeah. what, 40 minutes? About, yeah, about 45 minutes part time, making yeah. not much, but yeah. it was something. Yeah. yeah. And then worked a night shift every third Friday. Yeah. And that's, so. a, and you know, that it's funny, though, you say you weren't making very much because that also translates into the field of broadcast journalism. Yeah. You don't make a lot no. in those fields. You really don't. I mean, yeah. it, it's it's not. <sighs> it's if you love it. Like, that's really what it boils down to. It, like, yeah. If you really love yeah. that job, yeah. you're going to stay. There's a sense yeah. of freedom of that job, but there's also a sense of prison with that job. Yes. Because you don't have really a day off. No. Um, so you have to really love what you do. Yeah. 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 And then the only reason I, I feel like I got that job is I interned at the Lima News for like three weeks while I was in college. Mm-hmm. So like I already had the publication like flow in mind. Yeah. So I didn't have to relearn 
For like three literal weeks? Yeah. What do they have you do for three weeks? I did a lot of their ads. Like really? Like tons of their ads. Yeah. I think it'd take three weeks just to train somebody how to do that. Yeah. They No, they just threw me at it. They're like, you know Adobe programs? I'm like, yeah. And they're like, here you go. And this, nice. I did probably, I don't know, about 40 ads a day yeah. for them. Just constantly pumping them out. And then they, uh, <laughs> Flash was a thing. Oh, a Flash Adobe player? Yeah. So yeah. they actually had me do some Flash web ads for like their websites and stuff like that. Yeah. So, yeah. That's why I did for three weeks. <laughs> 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 Nothing exciting. It was quite dreadful. Yeah. yeah it doesn't sound like as yeah. much fun as Flash Gordon. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that is that's very interesting, though. Like just that, um, you know just the college career that you had in the time in the time era that you were yeah. there though mm-hmm. um and then transitioning to the job and then being thrown into things then also at the same time you're dealing with trying to update people that aren't updated right right yeah it's i yeah. get it they were so i've been there some of years in publisher still like oh and yeah. so i was like yeah. converting it into indesign and i'm yeah. just like can we not like and the good thing <laughs> is like the guy my boss at the time he was he was very into technology so he was like all for it so he was yeah. helping me out that's like, transition a lot yeah um but from there let's see where did i go road state college okay so i worked there for not like just a year it was yeah. really, like a contract thing yeah um Doing i hated what? web designer so i hated web design in school <laughs> I told myself, I'm never going to do this. Who loves web design? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I want to know. <laughs> but out of all the things in my, like, you yeah. know, I learned, like, graphic design, yeah. photography, all that, I excelled in web design for some reason. Yeah. And I hated it. But I, that was, like, one of the things I aced. Well, there's a different creative flow there. Right. So I did that for a year. Yeah. Met um, a good friend of mine, Gideon Fisher. He was their graphic designer. Um, and then my contract ended up, completing at that point and then Mm -hmm. basically i they transitioned me out because they're like we really don't i basically took them their entire website and made it current in that year so nothing nothing too big other than just updating them um he stayed i went on to a sign company at that time but that's um a key factor in this whole career path is meeting gideon fisher um he was the previous instructor at apollo and then that's how we got to where I'm at today. But went to a sign company called, I don't know if you heard of them, Cheap Sign Company. I have not heard, I've not heard of them, no. I always make fun of their name because I'm like, who names them the Cheap Sign Company? But honest to God, that, that works. Yeah. Everybody's like, yeah. oh, this is the Cheap Signs guys. Like, yeah. yeah. So worked there for almost three years, three, three nice. almost four years, yeah. And that, I love that job. Like, I loved it. It didn't pay well, really? but I loved doing it because I was well, making... Well, they were pretty cheap. Yeah, they were pretty cheap. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it was just crazy Fair. because, like, what I made... Facts. I made, like, Chinese, like, restaurant signs to, like, Budweiser signs to, nice. like... Where, you name it. I, and then, like, my signs are up to this day in Lima, so... Nice. Did you make the China Walk sign here in Wapak? No. I fucking love that place. No. <laughs> I used to love that place. I wish they had their buffet still. Whatever, man. Let's take it. Whatever. <laughs> There's take a place so in the Lima Mall like the buffet, though. called uh, Oni something. It's not the China Express. It's the other, like the the other Chinese store in the Lima Mall. The other. Oh. Yeah, they offer like. So is that not the bento box, right? Yeah, it's basically the bento box. Oh, okay. I okay. did all their signs. For oh, nice, yeah, nice. So like, they still have it up. And yeah, like a, yeah. Every time I walk in, and I'm like. I did, yep, that. did that. I did that. I should eat here for free. Right. <laughs> See, that guy was that were, that guy was a trip. He's like, wherever you want. Like I was like, well, it's your store. Like, <laughs> he's just like, put it on a sign. Yeah, yeah. honestly, he's like, I'm opening in two weeks. So like, do whatever you want. And I'm like, okay. Like, <laughs> you serve food here. Right. <laughs> Communicate that to our customers, right. please. <laughs> That's funny. And you'd be crazy too. He'd like bring out bring plexi signs that he had in his store. She's like, I want this. In my store, make sign, make it happen, and I'm like. So when he said do whatever you want, yeah. he meant like he would give me the this words. exact thing. Like he okay. would get, he'd be like, I want my menu on this, and I would be like, well, you got to give me like what's on your menu, and it would take him weeks. <laughs> but in that time frame, I had to come up with a layout of figuring right. out what it's gonna look like. Yeah, yeah. So it's, <laughs> give me some direction. Right. Yeah. He was one of those. Well, we know. Like, yeah. It's yeah. Where it's just like. 
I don't care. I just need it in two weeks. Like, yeah, and I there's a lot it. of, we, we, yeah, it was one of the things we did with the marketing workshop yeah. was we, so each, each one of the companies that we assigned to these uh, groups of kids, we gave them, um, so me, uh, or myself and candy played the owners of the companies. So then they would have to, you know, relay things back to us back and forth. And each, uh, group got to pick out a personality of their boss. Or of the owner, mm-hmm. so, we had, <laughs> so, so, <laughs> so all we had, you know, you you have multiple different types of personalities that you deal with in marketing, and that can affect the dynamic of the flow of creation and the flow of the work and the flow of how team chemistry builds. It has a factor in everything, sure, um, because it can just, you know, if you have a very negative personality that you're dealing with, then your sales team comes back to you with a very negative personality. And or negative persona of what needs done, and then it just that can snowball effect, and it's crazy sure how can. that happens. Mm-hmm. But um, what was funny though was <laughs> you know, some of these kids though are dealing oh, with yeah. it. Some of them dealt with it pretty well. Yeah. Um, who? What was it? It was your seniors group, the the group in the back. Yep. Um, I had so my personality to them was that I was very um, I didn't care. I, I whatever you deal with it. That's why I'm paying you. Right. Yeah, that's probably me. That's it. like, well, you guys, you guys were just you were complaining about the people who were like just doing. A, I'm like, well, you, I'm probably that guy. But you have so many like, different. I don't persons. give a shit. Just give it to me in two weeks. Right. Like, just right. stop bothering me. Cool. If you have to call me again, I'm gonna have to get somebody else. To do it. All right, right. And you do though. You have those personality traits, and you know, and then you also have though on the other side of that, you have people who have. A background in marketing and they want to be super involved and sure, then right. and not only that then at that aspect the trust factor goes out the window because in their minds they can do it better than you they just don't have the time to do it mm-hmm. right so you you know there's multiple different personalities that you deal with in marketing and yeah, absolutely and, and all that but um it was funny though the kid that we that i had this just you know this no care attitude i mean like he was talking like so what we would do is we would schedule meetings with them right throughout these time periods yeah and one of the one of the meetings, uh, the kid came up to me and he's like, "So we have a question on how you want your content to look and what you want your new logo design to be." And I go, "Hold on a second. And I just start texting on my phone. And I said, "You can keep talking." <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and he's just talking the whole time. I said, "Yep, that's great." Sure, and, yeah. And he was he was calm, but was, he was good about yeah. it, and he was still asking questions. He was still trying to like involve me, even though I wanted no part of it. He was still really trying, which yeah. was great. So, yeah. yeah, it was it was good seeing that because one, it's like you know I teach it, yeah, and they're like you know some of them were like oh, taking it to heart, and some of them were like. That never happens. Yeah. <laughs> Tell them they yeah. can call me. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Tell them to call literally anybody I've ever right. contracted to do anything in my office ever. Right. Yeah. And then, like, after that, call. it was just it was just nice. I was just sitting at my desk. Don't I'm care. just watching. Just take care of it. Yeah. I was just sitting at my desk, just like watching. And they're like looking at me, like, what'd you do? Like, why <laughs> did you invite these people? <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck are these people? <laughs> are these like real people that we have to talk to? <laughs> like no more simulation at this point. It's, like, it's a real deal. <laughs> it was it was it was a good time. It was a good time. We thought regular class blue. Right. Like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and it was funny because like you know you give them the project to kind of run away with. Because yeah. um, that's what you normally have to do is you have to run away with a project and you have to let your creative juices just flow and make shit happen. And, you know, when you have an owner, though, who wants to give you no Nothing. direction, yeah. it's hard. It's super yeah. hard. <laughs> <laughs> and both your classes actually had that yeah. personality trait. They did. Yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think the one, <laughs> the one kid went. So, like, one of the other things that we would add in there is, like, with about 10 minutes left in their project time. Try to add like some big well, we, thing. We would mess up something. So we would say, hey, you remember when you came to me with that logo idea and you and you had the one color in there? I don't like I that. I don't like that color yeah. now. Can we switch that up? Yeah. And like the one dude was just like, <laughs> like he's sitting there. It was, it was the closest desk to us. Yeah. And he just goes, you're kidding me. <laughs> 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 so it's cool though to see that stuff though. I mean, they, you know, they get frustrated, but that's fun. You guys are that's just fun. torturing high school kids with calling an education. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Probably. No, they're learning. <laughs> they're learning. <laughs> it's a life lesson. Let me pass on my wisdom to the children. 
<laughs> How can we fuck with these kids today? How can we? Yeah, yeah. They all went home and was like, I need a beer. <laughs> Mom, it was a hard day at the office. <laughs> hard day at work. Man. I got to say, like, my favorite moment of that <laughs> is, like, him slamming it down. But one person acted as, like, what do you call him? Like, the content or the one in charge. Like, Project management. managers. Yeah. yeah. That one, uh, he, he goes, he's like, I don't know. They just changed it on me. Like, <laughs> it, like, like clear, like, exactly what I would say. Yeah, There's exactly. Like, yep. Exactly. Just do yeah. it. Like, yeah. I don't <laughs> know what to tell you. That's what they want. Yeah. Yeah. This is where we're at now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. And it was like 15 minutes. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was solid. So, um, you know, let's back up a little bit because we kind of got ahead there. But so you got into Apollo Career Center. Mm-hmm. Um, how did that whole, how'd that thing happen? So, like, like I said, me and Gideon became really close friends. Um, sure. So when he got the job, so he was the instructor prior to me. Uh, when he got the job, he asked me to be on what's called an advisory committee, which is a big deal. It's for career techs. They have to hire, well, not hire, but like uh, bring on um, people in the industry. And what they do is we meet a couple times a year. We just check his curriculum. We check their equipment. And basically say, yep, that's what we're doing today. Like, yeah, we're using that equipment. You're lacking in this spot. Maybe we should recommend you get this, that kind of thing. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I was on that for four years. I judged their competition stuff. Um, I got known as the Viking guy. It was really funny. <laughs> uh, he showed up in a Viking costume one day. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah. So, like, he broadcasted my picture on that, on, like, his, uh, his like, these are your judges, and it's like normal people and me with like a berserker axe. <laughs> and so ever since they're like, oh, he's a Viking guy. That's like, badass. This yeah. is where the memes come into play, right? Right, right. right. Yeah. So after he yeah. decided he was gonna start his own business, he was like, he's this is his dream. He took a shot at it. He's like, I really think you should try. And I'm like, Yeah, why not? Like I wasn't looking for really a job. I was just like, why not? Let's see what happens. And then I got a. I did one interview. Two weeks later, got the job. So, nice. Yeah. Solid. Yeah. And you've been there three months now. Three months now. Uh, I quit my job in July, um, and that was quite a leap of faith. Leap of faith because. Now, how long were you at your previous job? So you went from. Did we skip a job? Oh yeah, we did. We yeah. did. So a cheap sign company. Yeah. I went to a job, Putnam County Sentinel for like six months. Just to get by. Sure. <laughs> it's one of those like transition sure. jobs. Another newspaper? Like, yeah, I was like, another newspaper. And I kept telling myself, why do I keep coming back to these? Yeah. I don't like it. Because they hired me. Yeah. Because they, yeah. <laughs> they said yes. Yeah. Because they said yes. Someone right. wanted me. Uh, worked for uh, a healthcare company um, in Lima. They own like 38 locations yeah. of senior living. And uh, did that for four years. And that's where I met Candy, who works yeah. with you. Yeah. And, um, uh, from there, I went to Apollo. So, nice. Yeah. Cool. Nice. Yeah. You like it then so far? Yeah, I love it. Like, I thought at first, I'm like, yeah, it's like, what? I just teach what I know? Like, yeah. sure. Um, what kind of rattled me, though, is like, I quit my job. And then they're like, okay, you're going to go to college. And I'm like, what do you mean? I'm going to go to college. They're like, well, you need an education license. And I'm like, oh, okay. That does make sense. So my license is contingent on, like, me going to college. So I'm currently still going, but... In the summer, I did a two-week course all the way up in Toledo. Mm-hmm. So me and other new instructor, we were driving every morning to Toledo. And uh, we didn't, like he said, too, we didn't get paid from July to September. Yeah. So we were just like, I hope this is the right decision. Because, <laughs> like, we're not getting paid at this point. Right. Yeah. And then, yeah, September, we finally got paid. And then we were only three weeks in at that job. So Nice. Yeah. Three months now, yeah. So when do you graduate with the education degree? I will have that in two years. Uh, okay. So next next summer. So nice. So you can still teach while going to school for it's that. It's contingent on my GPA, is is what I understand. Yeah. Gotcha. And that's a career tech thing. That's not like a education career tech and education is kind of like that weird. Yeah. 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 Interesting. They set the bar low for regular teachers. <laughs> <laughs> I was raised by two teachers. Yeah. I was raised. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like it's career tech is such a weird, like good weird, but it's such a like unique situation because they they hire they want to hire you not as where you're at education. Like I had to get papers signed from everybody I worked with 
to verify, yes, I worked there. So mm-hmm. they could track down what I did, basically follow my career path just to see, is this the guy that we want? Right. And yeah. There yeah, wasn't cool. like a six month period where he was like selling black tar hair. <laughs> right. Right. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, nope, we got it all covered. Right. <laughs> you don't have to do that anymore. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> well, uh, you know the superintendent there. Like, yes. Yeah. 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 Well, it, well, yeah. His daughter Jeez. is. Yeah, yeah. His daughter Emma is our is usually where Ashley is sitting. So, um, she's was, she's back at college right now. So we don't have her during the school year. So. And he was the superintendent at Walpock while we went to high school. Nice. Or yeah. me at least, probably you. Uh, he was actually the principal, principal when I was at middle school, and then the superintendent yeah. in high school. Right, Nothing but good stories. Yeah. From <laughs> Wild yeah, stories, yeah. but yeah, yeah. Well, he might have a few for me. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> but when they hired or my interview, he was in there. All the principals yeah. plus their marketing director, and yeah. I was like, I don't know any of you, but yeah. you seem important. So <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna sit here, do my best. I had to do a 15 minute lesson. Like yeah. that's what they made me do. I was like, so what did you do? What was your lesson? Uh, the five logo types of design. Like the different types, like abstract to pictorial, mm-hmm. to all that. And yeah, I think they were just like, wait, there's more than just logos. I was going <laughs> to say, what are the other three? Right. What are the other? <laughs> yeah, school us here. So we got abstract, abstract pictorial. pictorial. We got emblem, like your Starbucks mm-hmm. Harley Davidson. All right. Uh, you got your mascot, and then you got your um, combination logo, which is like, like a I'm trying to think, like Kool Aid. So you got your mascot and then their name yeah. below it. All right. Yeah. And then we got... So it'd be layered from two of those, or yeah. two or more of those. And then we got word mark, letter mark. So word mark is like Google. Letter mark is like um, CNN. So abbreviations. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Love it. Knowledge. I learned something. I know. Knowledge. I know. <laughs> it's like Firing you're a teacher. All right. cylinders. <laughs> it's like you Did teach you... people for a living. <laughs> Did you find it hard at all to come up with your curriculum at the start? Yes, in a way that I was hoping I would have had something from Gideon. Not not that he wouldn't have gave it to me, but like yeah. I had to come up with it from scratch. Sure. So at at the beginning, yes, but then I was like, wait, I've already did this in college. Right. I'm just gonna do what I did in college. So sure. then I started grabbing some kind of easy lessons that I did, like when I started. And then after that, I was like, I want to make my own. So at this point, like the competition I showed yeah. you, like that's yeah. totally my own design and nice. everything. So do you uh, ever go into I guess like the history of uh some of this stuff? A little bit. Yeah. So what I have is <laughs> by the state of Ohio I have to hit all these like strands. Okay. Like all these little things. I can teach it in any way, but I have to hit all these. And sure. then they take a test, kind of like an SAT, but it's for my program. Sure. And then my hope is I hit all those key elements because yeah. I'm not allowed to legally see any of those questions gotcha. ever. So gotcha. unless I go to Columbus and take the test myself, sure. Um, which is an opportunity, but yeah, I'm afraid yeah. to fail that test. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't know what you're teaching. Right. Yeah. 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 Did you ever, uh, did you ever witness your parents like, uh, you know, struggling with, uh, trying to find like what to teach some days? Um, my dad hasn't been a teacher in a long time. I don't remember him teaching very much. Um, my mom, yeah, uh, you know, it, it, not not routinely, um, mm-hmm. you know, because you set, you come up with a curriculum, and then you just pretty much do it every year with the new sure, right, class. Sure. And you make some tweaks and stuff. But I, I've seen my mom come up. When she switched to the sixth grade here in Wapak, um, wa- watching her come up with a new curriculum, I know it was a really time-intensive thing for her the first year, two yeah. years. Um, yeah. Yeah, I know it's. I know the I feel first, like that could put a lot of stress on somebody. I, I know first this year, year will be yeah. rough yeah. for you, and you tweak it next year, then you kind of just ride it, and you right. and you change things. Yeah. It's not that you don't change things, right. but yeah. you know what you have course. the you already have the the pathway. Yeah, yeah. basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's yeah. interesting. This is a good opportunity to mention what we're drinking tonight. Um, we've got we've got some nice Guinness Stout here. Uh, some of my maybe my favorite beer in the world. <laughs> yeah. The, the, have you tried the blonde? Yeah. Oh, yes. I like the blonde. You tried it the first time I gave it to you. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Don't drink it in Ireland. They will kick you out. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, they call it the Baltimore blonde. Is they make Guinness makes it the the Baltimore brewery that they have here. I think the 
light one they have is called Harp in yes. Ireland. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I've had harp. Harp's I good. had it. It was good. Right. Have you been to Ireland? No, I just I have friends that go there, and they told me like one of them did it, and they were like, they almost got like thrown out of the pub. Oh really? <laughs> so, so this this is a dude, thing. I this, this is a thing, by the way. Colin has started traveling the world by himself. Okay. He, you cool. leave for Dominican Republic tomorrow, right? Oh, uh, really? Really early a.m. Thursday. Okay. Okay. So yeah, and he's just going by himself. So you've been to Ireland? Yep. Okay. It's fucking awesome. Where at? <laughs> I drank a lot of Guinness. And Guinness is honestly like it was like my favorite beer before I went. So that was And they awesome. have a warm there. It just makes and me so happy. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, this is obviously an imperfect, you know, sampling of right. Guinness. But right. it's it's perfect in the fact that it exists and I love it so, so much. So my sister went there um a few years ago and then she brought me back one of their bottles. Um and their bottles it's like a wine bottle. Oh, really? Like, yeah, and it says, so they measure um, consumption based on, like, what they call units. So, like, and they measure They're it based on your uh... gender and, like, your height of how much you can have. Hmm. And, like, somebody, me, I could have four and a half. Bo- be- like, wine bottles? Of their wine bottle size, yeah. <laughs> well, it's not a... I- but I'd be at, like, ten. I, yeah, I, no, nobody ever told me I needed right. to stop. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that bottle was about three pints. Nice. Yeah. So I was just like, that's 12, 13 pints. Like, <laughs> I mostly drank nice. Guinness, but nobody ever gave me a heart. And most people in about every bar I went into, I was trying to pay attention. Guinness was what was being drank by like half the bar. Yeah. But yeah. the other half was drinking something else. Right. Uh, you know, liquor drinks, wine. Yeah. Or different kinds of beer. There's right. some craft breweries over there that are doing oh, some sure exciting stuff. But yeah. Guinness is like the. Well, king. it's it's like us and Bud Bud Light, like like. Okay, I, except except it's way better. But like, I, I really yeah. love Guinness so much. Yeah, it's like my favorite. but I think it's just because it's like it's the country. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's like they're proud of it. Yeah. yeah, I think we talked about this. I, I don't like Bud Light. I can't drink Bud Light. It's too sweet for me. It tastes like water. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> water well probably bush light probably tastes like water to you too doesn't it yeah. so does yeah. budweiser at this point yeah, yeah. yeah. It, and it, that doesn't mean that it's not it, the best kind of alcohol is the alcohol you like to drink and the mm-hmm. right way to drink it's the way you like to drink it i'll right. die on that hill yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm anti-alcohol snob yeah but like yeah it uh well we went to, we did a we did a craft brew little excursion we did a couple weeks ago probably about a month ago now mm-hmm. and that was fun that was, was that fun. wild park no, no we actually went to hamilton ohio okay mm-hmm. yeah because i know wild park does crawls like yeah, we have, yeah. There's a, there's a lot around in Allglaze yeah. County in general. Yeah. Um, you got what Moeller? You have if you count Mercer too. Ta- we Tailspin. Got yeah. Yep. Cool. Yeah, Moeller. Tailspin's and, a great brewery. Yep. I like Tailspin. Um, you One of my close friends. That's his go to spot. Like, number yeah. one favorite yeah. local brewery. Yeah. 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 I li- I do like Moeller too. I'm yeah. a Moeller fan. Oh, I like Moeller fine yeah. too. Yeah. yeah. But Moeller's Tailspin's super doing, nice. Tailspin's another tier up. I really think. Yeah. In my personal opinion. Yeah. Yeah. No offense. Yeah. And if you, you now, did you guys go to the craft beer festival this past year? No. Oh. No. See, the thing is, like, <laughs> hey. <laughs> we we get invited to these all the time. We're like, oh, we're gonna do it, and then we just go. Wait, was that today? Like, <laughs> shoot, like. <laughs> well, we'll remind you this year. Okay, we will. <clears throat> or this coming year. I mean, well, but uh, it's a good time. It is. It's a great time, and it's a nice way to sample a lot of different types oh, of yeah. beers, which is fun. Yeah, yeah. lots of different types. <laughs> we're talking about what forty plus, probably. Yeah, maybe more. If it's just like mostly local, yeah, I would see that. Um, local it's all over Ohio. It's all over Ohio. Yeah, but I think yeah, there yeah. was a couple Indiana, maybe one Michigan. I think there was one Indiana, one in Michigan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but the beer on the show is going to continue to be biased towards my favorites for as long as I have to say anything about it. Yeah. yeah. See, the place I like. We'll also do some, like we talked to, we're, yeah, yeah. we're going to try some liquor concoctions as <laughs> yeah. well. We'll branch out. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, the Renaissance, Ohio Renaissance Festival, that's a great place to try things because a lot of the breweries. You've been there? there? Yeah. Last year was my first year. Uh, well, I like mead. Yeah. I make some mead, and so it was cool to go to the mead stands. That's the drinking I did at the yeah. at the Ren Fair last I feel year. Like I and they do a crawl inside. Where's this at? I heard that. I heard that, and I heard that they, like, crown somebody the king of pubs at yep. the end of it. They do. And, like, I, feel like, I feel like I was born to be <laughs> so, the king of pubs. I don't know what's going on right now. 
What it's, is this? I want to know what this is. So <laughs> Renaissance Fair? So yeah. where, what is it, actually, like the location? It's, it's So I know it because I went to school in Kettering. It's down by Dayton and yeah. Kettering. And where I went yeah. to school, it was like a 15 minute drive. Sure. So, like, sure. I just know it's south of Kettering. Yeah. <laughs> but it's out in the sticks. Like it's, It is. Yeah. yeah. But this place is massive. Like, it's a whole village. It's, Interesting. It, yeah, it's like a. It's like a um, yeah, I got you another one. So there's a bunch of princesses? Uh, there's, yeah, I mean, yeah. some. Yeah. yeah. Each weekend is a different I guess I'll theme. I'll go then. Each weekend is a different, <laughs> different theme. Beer which, and booze and food. Which weekend? No, I'm in. We I'm went, in. we actually went on the Time Travelers weekend. Okay. Because we had, uh, That's we a good had, one. um, we a couple. One of our friends already had a Avengers Quantum like suit <laughs> hoodie, yeah. like a hoodie. There you go. So the rest of us just bought the same hoodie, right. and like there were people that had these just crazy elaborate costumes, and we right. just had hoodies on, and everybody right. was like, "Oh, that's great, good job, guys." We My, were, <laughs> but like thanks. without without sarcasm, it right. was, it was not sarcastic. So nice they were, there. Everybody is so nice. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 I mean, nerds so- are usually nice people. <laughs> I have nothing against nerds. <laughs> Just watching you. Don't watching know what the Ren Fair is. So we went time travelers weekend a couple times. Mm-hmm. Um, my favorite one is I saw a guy dressed up like the original Star Trek. It was this whole group. Uh-huh. So like Spock, Kirk, all of them. They were in character. They were like scanning everything. They're just like the, okay. they were like confused. Like, why are we here? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, this is amazing. Well, didn't they <laughs> really into it? Didn't yeah. They? Didn't they start doing Time Travelers Weekend because people started doing that just yeah. on their own and like yeah. ruining? Yeah. Like Darth like Vader would show festivals. up randomly yeah. too, and yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like nice. invade the planet. Like yeah. A, yeah. It's <laughs> so, like a strange planet that the Star Trek group came down on. And they yeah. started doing the time travelers weekend just so that those people wouldn't <laughs> right. ruin everybody else's time all and the rest then of the time. Steampunk was really this. big too. And that's another reason. What is it? Steampunk? Yeah. Steampunk yeah. became really huge. Yeah. And, I've heard of it. Yeah. I saw a bunch I don't know of what that is. That was our wedding, our theme. Yeah. <laughs> steampunk? <laughs> steampunk. So yeah. what is that? What is steampunk? So imagine if steam engines mm-hmm. were current. Like, they're the most reliable source right Plus now. Plus magic. Okay. Yeah. yeah, a little bit of magic in there. But, like, um, Zeppelin's everywhere. Okay. You know, industry is run on little steam. Whirl of bird things. Yeah. And guys with, like, big welder goggles. Just wearing so have you ever seen the movie? Well, I'm trying to think. Like, one that you might see it's that's like not Victorian. super indie. Victorian. Um, yeah, Victorian a little bit. A little bit. Okay. The Rocketeer. You ever seen that movie? Yeah, I've seen Rocketeer. So that's Rocketeer, pretty, steam pretty close. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Big, like, black trench coat, like, big welder glasses, and, like, a cap. Yeah. All right. It's like a, a look. Big. I, don't know if I, can, a look. I don't know if I could wear all that. I'd probably get really hot really fast, <laughs> but I will watch. Showed up with welder goggles, yeah. tailcoat. That was my look for our wedding night. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was a good. You're time. a lucky woman. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's what I'm telling you. This guy is my spirit animal. Let's let's keep talking extracurriculars. I want to hear about Red Beard Chronicles. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I do too. So it's our podcast that we've been doing. Is it three years this December? It's it's just hit over two years. So yeah. like, yeah, two in a couple months. Yeah. Nice. Really? So nice. D&D podcast, mm-hmm. but it's not like it's it's for people that don't really understand what a D&D podcast is. Well, I, let's start here. Some people probably don't know what D&D is. Okay. Okay. So Dungeons and Dragons. Yep. <laughs> it's a role playing game. Uh, it's been out since 70s. Yeah. Um, really really blew up so everybody's kind of doing their own like storyline and all that so we decided we really wanted to do one um what i tell people that doesn't understand role-playing games or D D or anything is i tell them imagine us doing an improv audio drama based on chance of what we roll on the dice it's a collaborative storytelling experience yeah you know? yeah so nothing that we say is really scripted like i'll have so like ghost that- stories around a fire Kind of, yeah. It, except kinda. everybody is is a person in the story. You are a character in the story. Yeah, yeah. and you just and you, and so like I just create a story. You create a character, okay. and you act as your character, and together we create this larger story as right. we act in this universe that the dungeon master so do you DM like, has set up. Yeah. Oh, so you like create the whole storyline then? Pretty, pre- pretty well, much. It depends on yeah. the way you go. So like mine is what uh, in. D&D world is called a homebrew. 
Meaning there's... I like the sound of that. <laughs> he wrote it himself. Yeah, I wrote it myself. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, and then I set like my boundaries of like government, religion, you know, you name it. And then all these characters, so I'm like the author, but they interact with this world. So I have no idea what they're really going to do. And then I have to keep it going. Gotcha. Yeah. And so you roll a dice. Yeah. Die. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Yeah. And um, is there, like, cards that you pull that kind of, like, tell you, like, what about your so going to do now, next? now, yes. Back, <laughs> there can be. It depends Back on in the day, it was on. just a sheet of paper. Yeah. Um, okay. Still can be. That's it, really, you can we play d- with that. We don't that. have cards. Uh, we, <laughs> podcast helps. Uh, we, yeah. We've upgraded quite a bit. But, yeah. Um, yeah, so, like, we have a sheet, and there's stats. And based on, like, what character you play as, you have these stats. And so, like, let's say you're this hawking bar- barbarian kind of, like, berserker guy. Well, his strength's going to be super high. Okay. He's not going to be great at talking, so his charisma is probably going to be low. Hmm. So if I'd be like, go lift that uh, wagon over there, I will be like, roll a strength check. And then I have a number that they have to beat. So okay. if their strength is plus six, and they roll that 20, and they get a 15, well, you do the math there, they're going to get it. But if they need to speak to somebody and they have like a negative two and they roll like a five, they're already going to, they're just going to do bad. So then I t- I do the negative outcome of that. Mm. So it's either positive or negative, usually in that outcome. And you have that like predetermined then? In a way, sometimes. It, sometimes it's on the fly. Sometimes. And then sometimes we, I use like tables. So I could be like how, depending on difficulty, it could be like. Do you guys yeah, drink pretty, and do this? We, yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, 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 I could come up with some crazy I, shit. I drink while doing everything. It's not, it's not the kind of thing you want to get blitzed for. No. But like, nah, I, yeah. you know, it's, no. it's good to, I have a drinking horn. If you think I haven't drank like mead out of my drinking horn while playing D&D, like you're out of your mind. Yeah. I feel like that is something that you would definitely do, Colin. Of course. Of course I do. Like when I started. I making, love you more for that. When I started making my own mead, like I was like, well, I need my own drinking horn. Yeah. Uh, you know. Yeah. But some people take the stories, they make them really funny, you know, like really humorous. And then like sometimes like us, we, we kind of, we mix it up. Like we, we do a pretty serious. Do they go like super sexual too sometimes? It can uh, go. It, can. it depends on that level. Yeah. And like. Yeah. It depends so, on the group too. Cause yeah. like how much do you want to role play that with your buddies? Right. right. Yeah. Just, right. All, just a bunch of dudes just like, dude, this got really hot. Right. Right. <laughs> and they're like. <laughs> No. <laughs> Why don't you role play that part touches. at home by yourself? Right. <laughs> and he Please don't uh, talk to us. I do what I call fade to black. And then he licked my elbow. Where I'm just like, that happened. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you the details of that. But, uh, we we actually, in our story, we have two of our uh, characters, our friends, that um, they're just friends, but in their, in their as characters, they're in a relationship. Mm-hmm. So that's been an interesting thing to like watch develop um, into that. But like, yeah, totally like, just friends and uh they before they play they talk boundaries of like what they want to do what they don't want to do and it's been what two years of the story and they Mm -hmm. just i would say at this point they became like official yeah an official (laughs) couple right like oh yeah like so like for real no no no, 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 like in the game no in the game they're both married for real they're they're both married separately gotcha It, yeah. it's, it, it sounds kind of wow. odd, but that's it, an interesting story mechanic. That'd be that'd be fascinating, like yeah. in a party. Uh, and it, it happened by pure just. Sometimes how it people happened. in the party yeah. don't like each other. Like you play with your friends, but sometimes your characters are like not. You just hate each other. Yeah, yeah. 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 You're just stuck with each other. Yeah. Like this is my enemy. Right. It, it's hard to wrap your head around before you see somebody do it or you do it yourself. Because I, I usually play a lot of the enemies. I'm the dungeon master, well, I, so I have to I play tell you the what. Enemies. The when you guys all get together to play. Invite me. Okay. I will. Watch. We'll do a collab. We'll we'll do a red beard like <laughs> if, special. If I need if I if I have to get in on it, I'll get in on it. But I'm not gonna tell you. I'm not gonna know what I'm doing. Rogue. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what that. I play a rogue. You play rogue. I always play the same character. It's even got oh. the same name okay. all the time. I could go on and on about this. Like it's oh, been yeah. me too. I mean that's we, how we, that's we how we we met. Me and Ashley met together playing that game. Yep. And like for real or in the game. For real. For real. Okay. Like, For real. He, Just making sure I understand every facet. Yeah, he's the kind of person that will <laughs> dog you until you come and play a game. He does it with, like, everybody. Gotcha. So we, came, we became friends through that. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. So is this, like, an online thing, too? It can, it can be. be. I tried to play with an online group for a little while. And not it, the same? It only it, Well, it's not the same, but also a couple of them were, like, in Scotland, and so the time change was, like, it, we were, like, going way too late for mm. me. Yeah. 
Gotcha. It definitely can be. And we, like, one of our players, uh, she's remote because she lives in Columbus. Like, she grew up here in Wapak, but moved to Columbus. So we stay connected. That's yeah. how we do the podcast. Mm-hmm. But it's more of a, it's like a personal preference kind if of you, thing. If you talk mm-hmm. to her, it's definitely a challenge sometimes because, like, she just doesn't get that that moment like yeah 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 cuz we can't like make eye contact all the time yeah. we have webcams but it's still just like you you get a feel when you're at the table mm-hmm. sure yeah the flip yeah. side of the coin though is it's 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 a way that uh, you know whatever else you want to say about it uh, you know the idea of you know some guy that lives in his mom's basement and doesn't talk to anybody playing D&D it's just a myth it's the most social game right. that yeah. exists it's it, it is a game about being social yeah. mm-hmm. it's total and, improv and, like. and so you know it the online aspect the the good part of it is you can play even if you don't have you know four buddies that live within three miles of you that yeah. are willing to play yeah so you know is this you something that you play. do you really get in character during this it all depends on the level of what that table wants to do. Yeah. There are people like, that dress up and yeah. like mm-hmm. have a whole like yeah. you know. I, so what? So what are each of your guys? Uh, when, I want to know like what's your <laughs> dynamic of it? And what's your dynamic of it? Go ahead. It, it depends on the group a little bit. I do always play the same character literally every single time. Right. I yeah. I just am that guy. Not everybody does. Yeah. I get pretty into playing as that character because I have a lot of experience playing that character. Yeah. But I, like I don't have a costume. I you know I don't. I mean, I would. I have not no problem with that. But yeah, yeah. My okay. guy's costume is just probably like a shirt <laughs> right. and like daggers right. everywhere. Just shows just up. Like, <laughs> it's a hoodie. Dagger. <laughs> it's a hoodie that says rogue. <laughs> Dude, that'd be great. I kind of want one now. I want one. <laughs> Who's that guy over there? It's like, I don't know. It just says rogue. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Some law abiding citizen. <laughs> I bet he definitely didn't steal anything. Right. <laughs> and what about you? Uh, so I can speak on the behalf of our group. I th- we're heavily role play. Like we really like that aspect. There's there's a strategy to it because mm-hmm. you gotta build your character to survive. Sure. Um they can die. They can die like and dead. they're done. Yeah. yeah. And then what, you just go home? You, you make a new character. You make a new character. Oh, okay. <laughs> but like, <laughs> like, like this this guys, group, uh, I guess I'm gonna head on out. It's it's happened. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've been there. <laughs> yeah, really? yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's weird. Um it's like, whoa, I'm I'm dead. Yeah. Right. Now, sometimes, like, you Thought can be brought be here back all to night. life. I guess I'll take my cooler beer with me. There are different levels of death, too. Like, yeah. there's sort of dead, and then there's yeah. dead. Yeah. But, like... <laughs> that guy's dead. Ashley's been playing her character for almost three years now. Dead, like, for her to dead, dead. kill that character would be, like, heartbreaking at this point. Because it's like, I've been playing this character for yeah. so long, and... Wow. Like, yeah. Yeah, Should there's an emotional well. aspect yeah. to it. Hmm. There's a previous campaign we played where my character died. And yeah. I, Five years. I had to leave the room because I was crying. Because really, it, yeah, everybody else was crying too. It was, really, yeah. yeah. You get an attachment. Sure, yeah. sure. But that, that's I crazy. Would say that's our level of play. We mm-hmm. really like role playing. There's there's been a session where we didn't roll a die once. Like we just us too. role played, and it's wow. weird to say that, but. Yeah, it's not. That's a big appeal for a lot of, and yeah. some people prefer. And some like, people the hate it. And yeah. Like, yeah. No, I, yep. yeah, yeah, no, I get it. I role play with my wife sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Close. <laughs> well, oh, not the same. <laughs> they role play and like put it on a podcast. You guys are dropping the ball. <laughs> I don't know if you want to see that on the podcast. <laughs> I'd say I was gonna watch it. <laughs> You guys might make some money off that, though. Isn't, uh, isn't there a platform for that? Isn't that OnlyFans? Is that what? Yeah, yeah. Is, they might change their name after I Is get on there. Is that a podcast? Like... <laughs> Welcome to OnlyFans. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> so, but I would... No, nah, I wouldn't try. <laughs> that would have... Not a good luck. Oh. Sorry, hon. Yeah. <laughs> we... <laughs> <laughs> it's not you, it's me. <laughs> he's broken now. He's gone. <laughs> he's, he's left. That happens to me. So. <laughs> All right. Hey, let's get into some of these uh, rapid fire questions. What do you got yeah. for us over there, Ashley? Yeah. So uh, let's talk about favorite horror Christmas movie. Ooh. Horror Christmas. Go ahead, guess. You're up. Jeez. I don't know. I. <laughs> I don't really watch, so I watch like cult films. Yeah, yeah. Ironically, 
So I don't really like go after these. Like, yeah. Um, so like, the, well, wouldn't the Shining be considered a Christmas? Would it be film? considered Christmas? Yeah, if it is, I would pick that winter. one because I, I would love, say it is. Love yeah. the Shining. Yeah. I would. Yeah, I would say yeah. it is. I just sure. know on the ground. I guess. Yeah, yeah. I guess he. Yeah, at the end. So yeah. sure. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Colin? I don't watch horror movies. Really? Like none. Yeah. I don't fuck with horror. My <laughs> wife is the same way. She will not watch a horror movie. <laughs> Me either. I only yeah. like psychological. Like I really I, I'm not a gore it. like Saw movies. Yeah. I hate it. Like yeah. but like I didn't think Saw well, was well. I guess it was gory. Would we count think the it was... thing as a horror uh, Christmas horror movie just because of snow? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I, I, sure. Why not? <laughs> yeah, then I would pick that over yeah. The Shining. The thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. If I had to pick a favorite Christmas horror movie, um, man, that's hard. Because right. there's not there's not a ton of them actually. No, isn't um, there one coming out? There's, soon? I think, a couple coming out. I think there is one coming out. Yeah, yeah. I might have to change my answer after that. Um, but what you got one? It's a Wonderful Life. It's a wonderful <laughs> there you go. Life. That is pretty terrifying. Guess, uh, like yeah. the whole idea. Of I don't it. think I've ever seen it. Yeah. Uh, what well, you definitely have. It's in black and white. They've been showing it forever. It, the guy's just like a working stiff who hates his life and wants to kill himself. Uh, right. That's okay. real horror. Right. Okay. <laughs> I think there's actually. I'm a, starting to understand that. Like that's getting more and more sense I think to me. there's a. I think there's a horror Christmas movie out called Scrooge that I watched. That was pretty yes. good. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 I would say that would be probably my favorite because it was actually it wasn't too bad. And that's not one I've seen, but you know I watch yeah. all those. Weird there was movies. actually one where there was it was a. Um, it was almost like a Krampus yeah. type of uh, I think it was movie. just called Krampus. Yeah. Well, it, I don't think this one was, but it was about um, a sorority house that okay. got uh, taken over. You have over. my attention. <laughs> yeah, it was a sorority house that got taken over by like a Krampus or whatever. And it was uh, crazy. That's wild. Yeah, it was a pretty crazy movie. I, that was, <laughs> I watched all of that one. That would probably be my favorite. I don't have the name of it, but I, that mm-hmm. was a pretty good one, though. If somebody, <laughs> if somebody knows it, just write it in the comments for us because I, I can't remember it. So. Ashley, about you? Uh, I, yeah, I don't really watch horror movies no you're not a horror flick film either <laughs> i mean i like the thing you like thrillers more yeah, yeah. and i showed jason the shining so yeah. like yeah. those kinds of movies but yeah but yeah really you don't go movie. after the no <laughs> what else you got for us um all right jason will like this one favorite home-cooked meal favorite Ooh. home-cooked meal i mean i do like mean green bean casserole and like meatloaf like classic classic meatloaf yeah i haven't had a good meatloaf in a long time yeah. Uh, the movie that I was thinking of was called Black Christmas, by the way. Okay. I've heard of that Came one. out in 2019. Yeah. Pretty good. It's not too bad. Uh, favorite home cooked meal? You said you like... Meatloaf uh, and meatloaf. green bean casserole, man. Yeah. Green bean casserole. I get that every Thanksgiving. I never see it any other day, though. It was like your Thanksgiving draft. It was, yeah. And our, thing, yeah, 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 and our yeah. Thanksgiving draft, I picked that as my yeah, number this one. This is number one <laughs> Thanksgiving food item. <laughs> it's good. My mom would just make it like as a side, like yeah. here and there, so that's yeah. why I grew up with it. Mm. So Yeah. It was, I, I'm a fan. I am a fan. Um, my favorite home-cooked meal, I would have to say, is chili. Mm. I love a good chili. And I make my own. Too. So my secret nice. ingredient is cinnamon. So you go skyline. I was gonna Sky. say. Yeah. I I actually love skyline. Do you? But I do. I do. My dad was hugely disappointed. Like when he yeah. went for the first time, he's like, "This isn't chili." Like, I didn't like it that much. <laughs> there's a way to eat. There's a way to eat skyline chili though. Okay. There's a. <laughs> there is. There is. If Drunk you didn't... as shit. Like... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. There's... Absolutely hammered. No, there's, the there's, there's a way to eat Skyline chili dogs, okay? The, the, I only eat the cheese, the cheese, the conies. That's all I eat from there. I don't yeah. eat anything else. I don't eat the three ways, none of that stuff. I don't eat none of that stuff. It's just the conies. So, but to eat the cony dogs, there's a trick, okay? You have to, you have to, I, first off, I don't like onions, so I get it with just the cheese, chili, and mustard, okay? And then... On the inside of the bun, you take the oyster crackers and you line the inside of the hot dog <laughs> with the oyster crackers, and then you pour on the hot sauce. That way, you get the crunch with the coney dog. This sounds like something. <laughs> 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 That's how you're supposed to eat it. Were you right. under the influence when you came up with this? Like maybe. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, it was when I was living in Cincinnati. A guy was like, a guy, a guy was like, who I worked with, he was like, he was like, you want to go to Skyline? I was like, yeah, I like Coney Dogs. 
And I, you know, we ordered or whatever, and I take a bite. He's like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, like you insulted Cincinnati. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and I'm just like, I'm, uh, we, we ordered, I'm eating. What, what do you mean? He goes, he goes, that's not how you eat a cookie dog in Cincinnati. <laughs> you moron. You, <laughs> moron. you imbecile. Yeah. You imbecile. <laughs> the entire city yeah, gasped. Well, welcome to the months. Queen City. This yeah. is how we do it. Do you even know how many eyes are in the world? Word Cincinnati? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> no, but yeah, that, that's who, uh, it was a coworker who taught me that's how you eat the Coney Dog. And I haven't, I've never changed it since. And that was probably eight, nine years ago. Big so. glass of o- Ohio River water on the side. <laughs> yeah. No, but I will say some, ma- right maybe right some. Dip it in there to <laughs> shove it down your throat. Maybe faster. some Grater's ice cream, though. Mm-mm. <laughs> That's pretty good. I like the Gator, Grater's ice cream. You can't go bad with Grater's. I mean, if it's been around since 1886, you know it's good. That is false. <laughs> <laughs> but it is pretty good. It's been around a long time, though. That's what Dave Portnoy from I bet, we can, I bet we can come up with a lot of things from 1886 that are not good. <laughs> <laughs> that could just be a segment on the podcast. Right. <laughs> Next episode. <laughs> touche. 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 What do you got? Um, home favorite home cooked meal. Yeah, my mom makes pulled pork, mac and cheese, and cherry pie for my birthday every year. Nice, nice. Yeah. Like yeah. Good pulled pork. Me too. Yeah, you know. So we just went to a uh, soft opening of the Canary Bar and Grill. Sorry, just Canary Bar and Grill in Westminster, Ohio, wow. from a couple of clients of ours who just opened it. Cool. Um, and they had pulled pork, or I'm sorry, they had a uh, brisket with. Um, a bourbon, a bourbon barbecue sauce. It nice. was phenomenal. Now I want to go. It was sweet, I been there smoky. Forever. We used yeah, to go delicious. randomly, like just here and there. I, most of our friends were from Westminster, so oh really? That's, yeah. That's, yeah, that's, yeah. that's yeah. all you yeah. kind of had. It in opened. It'll, it'll be open tomorrow. It opens okay. up tomorrow. Oh, okay. Yep. Cool. So Canary Bar and Grill, super nice outside area. They redid the entire place. I mean, oh, okay. it looks phenomenal. Okay. That was my next question. I was like, I remember it looks. Small. It looks like a brand new restaurant just nice. was yeah. laid there. Good yeah. For them. Yeah. That's yeah. Cool. It looks really good. Near Rudolph's, right? Right across the street. Yep. Yeah. Right yeah. across the yeah. street from Rudolph's. Yeah. 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 What else you got for us, Ashley? <clears throat> so you're trapped on an island for three months, and you get one food to bring with you. What is it? What do you got, Jason? Like one one item, or like this one is food. this is it forever. One food. One food for three months. So just the food. Three months. Food part of it. Yeah, just yeah. the food part of it. Okay. Okay. Part, okay. Yeah. Uh, potatoes, because you can just. <laughs> You can make anything with potatoes. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's you, you can. You can actually make dough out of potatoes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I made yeah. pancakes. Yeah, yeah, you can make. Yeah, that's true. Um, I, man, I don't know. This one's kind of hard for me. Guinness. Guinness. <laughs> just, Guinness. It's not even food. It's not Guinness. Food. Yes, it is. It's a <laughs> yes, food. It is. Yes, it is. Yeah. It's, a, it's a food item. <laughs> they didn't say that there wasn't other food on the island, and Guinness goes with everything, and I'm going to be a hell of a lot That's happier fair. than you guys with That's whatever fair. you bring. That's That's fair. Eat I your will. potatoes. I'm going to have a fish fry every night, and we're going to be eating Guinness yeah. and drinking Guinness and eating it. I don't even know. I don't even know. <laughs> it's got a bunch of min- minerals, nutrients, yeah. and shit in it. That's One fair. bottle is like That's drinking fair. a loaf of bread, so you're full. You can make bread out of it. Yeah. I mean, I don't have any flour probably because I've only brought Guinness. But it's <laughs> still good. I, I think I'm going to go with um, – I'm going to go with a cow. <laughs> yep. Like just not beef. You, yeah. You're just bringing a cow. I'm bring, I'm, my food will be that cow. I'm bringing a cow. And I will survive off of so tons of So why don't you meat. just ask for beef? <laughs> okay, beef. <laughs> it's like me saying I'd like malts and hops. I'm going to make my own beer. <laughs> just give me the Guinness. Just give me- <laughs> you just get dropped off of the crate. <laughs> I, just want, I just want my cow flown in. <laughs> Drop them off. Preferably over this fire. Just imagine him butchering the cow. Nobody said you had a knife. How are you butchering the cow? Just chasing him with rocks. Nobody said I didn't have a knife. <laughs> we just see him chasing sure. him with rocks. Big boulders. Do you have a knife on you right now? I don't. You don't have a knife. I don't. But I have teeth. 
I'd pay money for that. <laughs> I'd pay money to watch that. Be, it'd be gruesome, but it'd be entertaining. I would just see if it's possible and be like, then change the channel. Be like, yeah, <laughs> <we did it." laughs> right? right? And I'm good. <laughs> Fast forward four hours. He's just naked, covered in blood. <laughs> Wilson! <laughs> <laughs> so I'll name the cow. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck me, man! That's pretty good. That's class. That's good. All right, what else? All right, all right. Uh, uh, how do you cook a grilled cheese? Oh, this is a good. This is a good question. There's a lot of different ways to do it. Are there? Oh yeah, there is. I mean, you yeah. could bake it if you really well, want. What's the way that you make your grilled cheese? Just Jason? pan fry. Pan fry? Yeah. Same. So, okay, but specifically. Oh, like what ingredients or whatever? Yeah. yeah. Cheese. So, like, th- yeah, cheese, like American cheese. But you butter the bread, though. Instead of butter, I use mayonnaise. Okay. Okay. Yeah. See, that's, yeah. see, that's different. That's different. What about better. you? I've done both. I've tried the mayonnaise thing. I'm like, yeah, it's all right. Yeah. But, uh, I, I feel like it actually doesn't glue to the pan. <laughs> you, do you go... I prefer cheddar than American cheese, but otherwise, uh, yeah, pan sure. fry. Do, I've tried the mayonnaise. Thing. Do you go multiple cheeses? I do multiple. So I do like, I do like pepper jack, it American, depends on cheddar. what happened at the grocery store for, like how long has it been since I've been at the grocery <laughs> store? <laughs> what does all they have? You know? That's yeah. fair. That's fair. That's it's fair. bread that I'm often missing. <laughs> yeah, true, true. I'm serious. Yeah. Yeah, I've usually got cheese. Bread yeah. is not always there. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of bread, I, this is off topic. Sorry, Ashley, but um, okay. what? what? <laughs> okay, moving on. <laughs> um, so, like, my wife is like huge on in. You know, my wife is. You know, she's lost a ton of weight doing her fasting and all this stuff. Um, so I am stuck with keto bread at my house, right, all the time. And I'm just like, can I just go get like a dollar fifty thing of like Wonder, Wonder. Bread? <laughs> and she's like, no. Do you know how bad that is for you? And I'm you just, just like, got it in the glove box of your car. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't everybody it's like, like a drug? <laughs> Wonder Bread. <laughs> just roll it in a ball and eat it real fast before I walk in the house. <laughs> your daughter comes out and's like, give me a hit. Dad. <laughs> All right, but don't tell your mom. <laughs> so we've had almond milk in the house for the last, I don't know how long. And um, finally, like, I will sneak and just buy some 1% every now and then because that's what I like. So <laughs> we get a gallon of, like, 1%. This happened, like, a week ago. And it was, like, killed within, like, three days. And then L- my Liberty, one of the twins, walk up to me, uh, like, the day after. And she goes, hey, Dad, um... Can you just do the grocery shopping for now? <laughs> and I was, like, I was like, I was like, why? What's wrong? And she's like, I'm just, I, I just really don't like that nut milk. <laughs> I was like, yeah, your mom doesn't like nut milk either. <laughs> That's why you're here. That's why you're here. <laughs> We we finished the show. We did it. Did like, we? We, <laughs> I think Trey's not going to be allowed to hang out with you anymore. <laughs> no, she did say that. She was like, I just I don't really like that. Nut milk <laughs> and I was like, I, was like, I get it. I like, go go talk to the boss. I don't know. So, <laughs> honey, we're putting a mini fridge in the girls' room. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're putting uh, groceries in there, like normal groceries, <laughs> right? Right? Yeah. It's uh, yeah, but. <laughs> Moving on. Okay. I had, yeah, to go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had to say that. Uh, when do you put up your Christmas tree? In December. In December? Yeah, not before December 1st. Usually right. a couple weeks in, but yeah. we are always live tree. Always, yeah. always. So okay. some of that's practical. Same. That's that, That's why. If like, we, put we it take up before it after... Thanksgiving, like, it'll we, be dead. We tagged yeah. ours before Thanksgiving, right? Yes. But yes. we got ours this last weekend, uh-huh. which is... December. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ours went up a week before Thanksgiving. No, we don't do. But real, it wasn't a real tree. Yeah, we don't yeah. do real tree. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. I don't think it's really Christmas, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when we had a fake tree, yeah. it would go up like after Thanksgiving. I refused yeah. to have it up before Thanksgiving. Yeah, but, yeah. <laughs> At that time, we were living in like a five hundred square foot apartment. Yeah, like yeah, I'm yeah. not dragging yeah. in a live tree yeah. in there. Like <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna suck. <laughs> You get the live tree, and then you throw it out back, and then it dries out, and then you burn it on Easter. And it goes, whoosh. <laughs> it's all crackly, and it smells nice. All right. 
It's like, I mean, Love traditions, it. right? Like, yeah. It's all about traditions. <laughs> did, did I mention my mom's family's from Spencerville? <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Um, so, how about a favorite Christmas movie? Oh, favorite Christmas movie. Uh, mine of all time is Home Alone. I don't think you can get any better than that. It's a good one. It's close. Uh, Home Alone 2 is where it's at. Fair. That, fair. <laughs> that kid is a sociopath. <laughs> He's looking to do as much damage as possible. He could have gone to the cops or any adult at any given time, and he lured these guys into this building to torture them, and then he did it again. <laughs> Could have gone for help at any given time. There are yeah. like what, like eight thousand NYPD like <laughs> cops in he's, New York City in the second eight. movie. But he's eight. Like, he knows what, what the cops are. <laughs> he's eight. And he's just luring these bad guys in to torture the hell out. He of was them. a super smart eight year old. Yeah. Yeah. Who lured these bad guys in to torture the shit out of them? I mean, the electric, the electric for the express the purpose guy. of like. Torturing these people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you just think you went to bed that night and he was just like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, yes, I do. Are you serious? <laughs> I absolutely 100% do. Oh, that's great. Well, you already I, brought it up. I, Is Wonderful Life yours? No, I hate that movie. <laughs> um, the uh, it, it's probably I'd like to say Die Hard because it's my all time favorite Die Hard's movie. A but we we don't have to have the, the yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> just straight up Christmas movie, and I would argue that it is a Christmas movie. But just straight up regular it's Christmas definitely movie. Christmas I'd movie. say yeah, I'd say White Christmas though. I love that movie. Yeah, uh, we yeah. usually watch that. It, Miracle on Thirty Fourth Street. Second is it? Leader, other leader. than the like forty year old guy dating like the eighteen year old girl, which is a little weird. Other than that, White Christmas is a great movie, mm-hmm. and I love it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> don't think about the age discrepancy. Yeah. Does she, don't, don't at least she's eighteen. It yeah. could have been right. worse. Could have been seventeen. <laughs> uh, but, age ain't nothing but a number. It's also how old you are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would say a Christmas story too is like there it's for pretty me. good. Christmas yeah. story's good. Good. Yeah. Has anybody seen the new one yet? There's no. a new one. I heard it's, yeah. I heard it's great. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, it did come out. I think it already came out. What yeah, about you? Sure. Oh, White Christmas. Yeah. Because Jason's mom introduced me to White Christmas. I had never seen it before then. I love White Christmas and I so, love much. It so it's much. It's great. It's, it's, yeah. it's so fun. Hmm. It's a lot of fun. It's just happy. It just makes it goes it feel on, good. It goes on Netflix and it's like a once a week thing. Yeah. <laughs> really? I don't think I've ever watched it. Really? You you would dig it. Yeah. I mean, I also like the Santa Claus too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Those are pretty killer. Yeah. 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 (laughs) The first one I think was awesome. Yeah. Have you seen the series? No. 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 No spoilers. No spoilers. No, it's it's okay. No spoilers. Elf was great. I'm gonna watch it. Loved Elf. (sighs) We were confused. Just the way it like the vibe was different. (laughs) Like we're just like okay. (laughs) Isn't um isn't the original Elf in the series? He hasn't. As far as we've seen, and we're... Or is there, no, there's a new Santa Claus movie coming out, right? No, it's a show. It's a, show. It's a series. It's a series. Yeah. Oh. It's been Tim coming Allen? out. Episodic, yeah. 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 It's been coming out. Okay, yeah. so I'm pretty sure that I've seen a trailer for it. Yeah, and, he's in the trailer. Yeah, okay, okay, yeah. 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 No spoilers. It was the guy who was, uh, it was, the guy who was <laughs> in the show, which is one of my favorite all-time shows, is Numbers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's... Yeah, the, yeah he's Bernard. He's, yeah, yeah, Bernard. Yeah, yeah. The best elf. Yeah, he had the sub. Yeah. Walking yeah. in the house, yeah, yeah. yeah. He takes it. <laughs> yeah. I love. Yeah, it. yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like numbers a lot too. That's a good show. great show. One of my favorite shows. Yeah. Uh, all right, top three candies. Ooh, top Christmas specific or just in general? Just in general. All right. I don't know. I'll go. I'll go first. Reese's is definitely got to be up there for me, um, and then followed by probably Skittles, and then. I'm going to go with my third would be Snickers. Snickers and Milky Way. It's a, it's a tie there. Maybe Reese's Pieces. Is it Reese's Pieces or Reese's Pieces? I don't, even, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't fucking know. It's one of those. Okay, fine. I, <laughs> He's done. <laughs> one of those. I usually just tear the bag open so fast I don't read it. Like I don't Chug it in one hit. But Sour Patch Kids. Those are good. And I'm a sucker for like toffee. So like a Heath bar would be pretty solid for me. Yeah. Solid. What about you, Jason? I mean, I really dig 
York peppermint patties. Like, I don't know why. I just okay. really, I really take them. <laughs> you 70 years old. Yeah, I know. I, <laughs> that's the thing is I eat like candy like I'm 85. Like, <laughs> is your, is your, your next one going to be Worthington? Wor- like, I, <laughs> your next one going to be Worthers? Yeah. <laughs> Funny story is like, I used to, <laughs> I used to carry those in my pocket too. Like, I did that whole thing. And like all my friends would be like, how old are you? Like, who was, are you, Mister Rogers? Right. <laughs> he likes black licorice. Yeah, too. I do like black oh, licorice. Oh yeah. God! Yeah, I thought that was just a thing that we all agreed everyone hated. <laughs> no, I thought that was like not even really a thing. Anymore. No, I buy the the licorice <laughs> wheels, like the big puck. Like size he, ones. And, he eats yeah. candy like, like an old man. Yeah. I thought they were he like does. candy cigarettes. We just all agreed it was a bad idea and like nobody made them anymore. <laughs> They're still out there. They're still I found out them. There. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they do make those. And the and the uh the bubblegum cigars. They still yeah. make those yeah. too. Uh-huh. Oh, do they? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh let's see. Wow. Chico sticks. High chew. High chew is good. You guys talked about that the other day. Are, are those like now or later? Uh, so it's a Japanese brand. Um it's the best way I can describe it is yeah. <laughs> uh, that was racist. <laughs> what would you say it's like taffy? Yeah, it's 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 a fruit chew. <laughs> He's done. <laughs> Fuck's sake, man. It's Redbeard Chronicles accepting applications. <laughs> New show. It just came out of me. <laughs> Be- I, I would say it's a fruit chew, but it's like taffy. Yeah. But it's yeah. like it's consistency of gum, but it eventually dissolves. We're gonna right. have to get some. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'd like to try some high chew. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's trying to save it. He's trying to. <laughs> All right, next question. <laughs> uh, favorite podcast to listen to. I'll go first. <laughs> So I've listened to like seven, like seven <laughs> podcast episodes, not seven podcasts, like seven episodes of podcasts. Four of them were for this show. So I'm going to go with the social guys. <laughs> fair. Nice. Fair. Um, out of all the podcasts that I, I watch a, a ton of podcasts, I actually do. Um, and I, I can't, I can't distinguish the two, but, so I'm just going to say both of them. My two favorite podcasts are the Joe Rogan experience and the fire and the kid. Nice. Nice. Uh, currently it's spooked, spooked podcast. Nice. I was just telling you guys before we got on here, uh, it's, it's a, it's a sideshow from a show called snap judgment, which is on NPR. So it's a guy that just tells a story, but they like audio, like they had all this like spooky effects or whatever, but it's told by the person that witnessed whatever supernatural thing that happened. So you can hear but like you don't watch horror movies. No, I like again, <laughs> I like the psychological side. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's cool though. Uh, I, I, you know, I think everybody does. Everybody get into the true crime stuff. Yeah, yeah. Ashley does for sure. I, you don't at all. I not really. Yeah, like, I tell I you mean, what, if it grabs me, it grabs me. Mm-hmm. I I get over it pretty quick. Yeah. But she at this I point I'm it. stuck to like every morning I six AM. Hooked. She's she's starting her shower up and I just hear that like in the background I was like somebody okay. dying and I'm like I love right, a, I guess I I'm love a up. murder mystery. I'd like it to be fictional so I don't have to give a shit about the people that right, die. Right. There <laughs> there's where I'm at too. Like yeah. I like I'm reading the Sherlock Holmes books or something and I'm like, Yes and then I'm like listening about some guy that actually like died or something. I'm like, Oh, that's so sad. And I'm like, that's just a real bummer. Like, right. I, yeah. This blows. It's true. It's true. I like two hot takes also. That's a good podcast. I see that one on uh, TikTok every so often. They do uh, like Reddit stories. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. Those are pretty fun to listen to. Sometimes. You watch Red Red Web? I like. Uh, yeah, that's a true crime. The the one true crime that I don't listen to is Distractable. Mm. Yeah. It's like a comedy. Podcast. It's, it, it's yeah. So. <laughs> they just talk about. So you get, once upon you get very distracted by it. Uh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they do like whose line points on it. Yeah. Oh okay. yeah yeah. 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 Yeah, and nice. then whoever wins becomes the host for the next episode. Nice. Yeah. Cool deal. What else we got? Uh, favorite thing to do in the winter? Sleep. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Watch football. Watch football for me. Watch hockey because that's better. I, like, I, I do, you know, I, I can't watch hockey on TV. But I do love going to a hockey game. Okay. Blue Jackets games are a ball. They are fun. <sighs> yeah, I just wish they were doing good right now. But we're not going to talk about that. That's fair. <laughs> Fine. No, no sweat. Um, yeah. I like, I like playing in the snow. But honestly, like, 
just, my answer is one that just indicates that I have a problem, but I'm going to stick with like drinking beer. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, I, you know, stouts and porters are some of my favorite beers. And it's that, and they're really good during the winter. Yeah. yeah like, yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'll drink it during the summer, but like, God, when it's like, Cold. when it's like 85 I'm degrees a, out. I'm going to yeah. speak real quick to Colin's soul here. Just a book by a fire with an imperial stout. <laughs> Not like nothing better. Not like port. You're not like that classic. <laughs> I'm I probably not classy at all. I don't know if I've ever even had port. It's like dessert wine, right? Yeah. I don't think I've ever even had port. How about a porter? Okay, there we go. <laughs> Vanilla you got porter. like the velvet robe and everything too, like. I mean the smoking jacket. I'll yeah. take one. <laughs> uh, I, I, <laughs> I was I was Hugh Hefner for Halloween one year. I think I've got that still somewhere. So there you go. so yeah, fake yeah. velvet. So like, that's what it does. Cheap. Yeah. <laughs> see, that was the best Halloween of my life. Straight. Just that's another story. Polar that's, bear fur, fur coat by a fire. <laughs> <laughs> Drinking his vanilla porter. <laughs> Now, I want a fireplace and I want a library, but they're not allowed to be in the same room. With no, a, no open flame in with the With a Tom Clancy book. That's fair. I like Tom Clancy. I love Tom Clancy. I don't read, but I love Tom Clancy. <laughs> I like his movies. <laughs> his <All right>. ideas <laughs> of movies. <laughs> they turn his books into movies. Yeah. Several. Yeah. yeah. What, did we not talk about Jack Ryan at some point here? Uh, a couple episodes ago. Last season, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so the last one is tell us something someone knows about you. I have a D&D or podcast. someone doesn't know about someone you. Someone doesn't yeah. know. That no. makes oh, I was going to be like, I have a D&D podcast. <laughs> <laughs> we only talk about it every time. I have a podcast. <laughs> I want to be on a D&D podcast. <laughs> so tell us something someone doesn't know about you. Colin, See, you got anything? I'm a really open See, that's, book. Like, that's I, my problem. It's yeah. like everybody knows everything. Being an open me. book is like a hallmark trait right. for me. I really have to think about that. Yeah, it and is. And like the couple things I don't talk about are like, I don't want to talk about them. <laughs> <laughs> I would say um, I almost got expelled once from high school, and my parents didn't even know about it until like recently. <laughs> so yeah, that'd be yeah. It was it was a very close call. So I guess just because you two are newer to me, I yeah. get to say I'm a hobby blacksmith. How about that? Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I fucking love this guy. I bought a sword at the Renaissance Festival nice. last year. Nice. That was awesome. Yeah, no, me and Ashley, we have our own like shop. We got our own forge and everything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> do, do you guys want to be friends? <laughs> do we just become friends? Like, <laughs> can we? Can we please? Am I love cool it. enough to be friends with you guys? Love it. Am I cool enough to be friends with you guys? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Am I cool enough to watch you guys be friends? <laughs> I don't know, man. Just I don't know. In the background, I'd be like, yeah. nice. It was a, yeah. it was a yeah. COVID thing. We just, just give my thumbs up of approval in the background, like from an 80s movie. What if you forget the questions? What have you made? What have you made? A lot. The- we actually hey, sold this hey, year. Hey. We start a whole, we did a whole booth at a festival this year. Uh-huh. Um, classic stuff like hooks, bottle openers. What else? What was our big seller? Oh, those uh, candle those, things? The candle hooks. They go yeah. to mason dryers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, I've seen those, yeah. Yeah, but um, I make knives, too. Like, that's something I do. I'm not good at it, but hmm. I'm better at the antique stuff. That's why. Fire pokers. So many fire pokers. <laughs> <laughs> Made so many. Colin is in mesmerizer here right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, our, our, at our house, our, our garage is an old carriage house, so it's got a chimney in it, so we kind of, like, built our whole oh nice setup you build in it into the like chimney we're in, like, getting your garage. there right yeah. now we have a uh-huh. gas one but that's we're building sweet. it in there that is yeah. that's pretty the sweet yeah. god <laughs> yeah are you guys the coolest people ever <laughs> <laughs> Love what, this. what are we making out candy canes candy canes lots of candy canes candy cane ornaments like the ornaments oh, oh nice. like in metal yeah yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. we're at that's like sweet. Cool. we're at like almost 40 yeah. right now nice nice we can pump out about 20 an hour mm-hmm. yeah i think oh, you should yeah. make me a second sword <laughs> sword okay <laughs> all right it's just a big knife it's quite the undertaking i know yeah yeah it really is like i uh i got quite buff in the last three years for that, that thing. oh i believe it yeah i believe it 
Yeah, like first first couple of weeks, I was like, I can't move. Like I can't oh, move yeah. at all. And then now I'm like, she's using yeah. all new muscles. Yeah, yeah, I it believe it. Fun. We have a real treat that I only have three of, and here's how much I like you guys. Like I, I cheer wine, cheer wine. You you wore this T-shirt the other day. Did you did. buy this from the fifties? Well, nineteen seventeen. This is from the 50s. Okay. So, cheer wine is, it's called cheer wine, but it is, in fact, a soda. Um, you know, it's not, it's not it's alcoholic not in any way. No, it's not. It, well, I mean, it's a wine the same way root beer is beer. Right. It's not. Right. <laughs> uh, it, uh, I don't drink a lot of soda, right? It's probably the one healthy thing I got going for, for me. I drink water, and that's pretty much it, other than beer. Uh, <laughs> but, like, I don't drink, I don't drink pop. I don't drink coffee. Yeah. Here is the pop that I like. It is this. It is the only one that I really like. Um, it is Where can made, you get that at? It's made in North Carolina. It's made in Salisbury, North Carolina, I believe. Yeah. Um, it is a little over 100 years old. It is wildly popular uh, in the South, but it's not got a nat- national distribution. Okay. It, it's been really hard to get. It's starting to get a little easier to find around here, but it's still tricky. Um, so here's how much I like you guys. I brought y'all one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It is it's even um, cold. It is. Should cold. we should we drink it now to try yeah, it? Drink it now. Okay. They're twist tops. Yeah, um, I was just gonna ask. It's it's cherry. So if you don't like cherry, then you know fuck you. Um, but <laughs> if you don't like big red, well, fuck I've got. You. I mean, I've got a bottle opener. If you want, it's dang. It's, yeah, they're yeah, on there good. Tough. <laughs> Give me the bottle. <laughs> Colin okay. cuts his hands open. <laughs> it's yeah. delicious. How'd it, you get it? I loosened it up. She's, she's a man. <laughs> or she's she's strong. She's a man, man. It's like you're all she's been blacksmithing. Over there. She's been blacksmithing. She's been blacksmithing for a all right, I'll okay, give you this one. one. This one's hard. <laughs> What'd you do to said. this one? <laughs> That's what she said. Did you do twist it the wrong way? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Then. Gotcha. Okay, some cheer wine here. I fucking love this stuff. It's the only soda I like, but I'm so lucky. I'm honestly lucky they don't sell it around here a lot because right. I would drink it. I drink four a day. It's it's got like that cane sugar vibe. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's yeah, really good. Well, well, there's cane sugar in it. Yeah. I bet it says that on the bottle. But it's like that old real cane sugar. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty good. Love it so much. Yeah, if you don't like cherry, <laughs> if you. Tell them, actually. <laughs> Tell, it's it's you're wrong. cherry. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, it's... And cherry is one of my favorite flavors of, like... I like cherry pie and cherry candy. Sure. And, uh, it is a punchy-in-the-teeth cherry. I like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's not I'm sour. a huge cherry fan. I love it. Yeah. I, I can't say I'm bringing this around a lot because, A, I can't get it a lot. And when I get it, I'm probably going to drink it. Um, <laughs> but uh, I thought it it'd good. be a treat. Yep. It is good, yeah. yeah. If I if I like these people one iota less, I'd have just probably kept it in drink. <laughs> I was like, all right, they're the coolest. Yeah. I got to I got to show them I'm cool too, sort of. Yeah, no, I like that. I know the super secret like cherry soda. <laughs> all right, let's get into some current events. Okay, though. current events. Um, I'll just drink a beer. <laughs> so it's kind of a little bit more topical because Nike terminates deal with Kyrie Irving. Yes, yes. So my, that professor went. To I was going to say, what's your guy have to say? Do you have like inside yeah. knowledge? Well, did you guys hear about this though? This whole, I mean, I know, uh, I know you guys aren't huge on sports or whatever, but Kyrie Irving, basketball player for the Brooklyn Nets, said some anti-Semitic. He that, posted. He posted oh. a link to an anti-Semitic video. Right, right, right. Yeah. So you, you've seen, you've heard about this then already. Yeah. Fuck Nazis, man. Yeah. I, like, yeah. I, I don't, I don't understand. I, I guess I don't fully understand what he posted. Or what the video he was kind of mm-hmm. saying that he agreed with? Do you, I mean, do you know anything about it? I didn't watch the video, but, I, you know, I didn't watch the video, but nobody's going to convince me that there's some sort of, like, middle reasonable ground on anti-Semitism. Like, yeah, that, yeah. you know, yeah. it, the most American thing I think you can do is punch a Nazi in the teeth. So, yeah, Fact. fuck yeah. him. I'm glad, I'm glad <laughs> Nike dumped him. I'll give you yeah. that. Yeah. It's fine with me. So that was, uh, so basically, though, um, now... now uh, this is where I'm going to play devil's advocate here, though. There's no devil's advocate. So like... <laughs> I got to. I got we're, to. We're I got gonna... to. <laughs> I know. I know. I know it. I know it. Here's all I'm saying, though. Here's. 
you going to make an argument for racism next? No, no, no. Is your no. wife going to stop like being able to go to work? No, like she... this is not. No, this is not even. This is not even like that. All I'm saying is, is why? Why does? How does everybody have the? Um, I guess the jurisdiction over what somebody says or tweets, therefore, because we talked about this in the last show too, it is a private... It's a private company. Private company. Anybody Nike can gets, say whatever Nike they want. to choose who represents them, period. I agree with that, yes, wholeheartedly. But why can't somebody just say what they want? He can. And they fired him. <laughs> well, they didn't fire him. They just canceled his endorsement deal. But whatever. Yeah. They fired him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's still a basketball player. Yeah. He still has his job. Yeah. So. Right, they fired him from his job advertising. Yeah, <laughs> correct, correct. I don't know. I, 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 his I, basketball team should yeah. fire him. Anybody should fire him. Ooh. Nazis suck. Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know what the extent of what he said was. Oh, I have no idea. Yeah, I don't. Is it still being like? investigated no it's okay. done and over with okay. he's he, he's he's already been like, he he was suspended he got fined he also had to write an apology letter he had, all that was taken care of like months sure. ago three months ago i think sure so wow. nike's just like kind of late to the ball game of consequences Let basically mm. yeah. i wouldn't want a nazi representing me yeah i don't think he's a nazi though i don't know man if you walk like a duck and you talk like a duck <laughs> You have fired for being anti-Semitic. Well, okay. But I don't think he was being anti-Semitic. I think he was just, I think he just posted about a movie. All he did was share a link. I don't know anything about this until right all, now. All, <laughs> all, all, all I know is, is that he shared a link and then it was taken, oh, he's this, this, and this, if and I, the media took it on a if fucking I share, fire. Yeah. If I share a link to the KKK website, oh, I'm a racist now. I, that, I get I, it. That, I get it. I get it. Yeah. That's what we're talking about here. Sure. True. Very true. Very true. Yeah. All right. All right. Moving on. I learned. <laughs> uh, Will Smith explains why he stayed away from films about slavery until Emancipation. So, have anybody seen the trailer for this? He's in a slavery mm -hmm. movie called Emancipation. Um, he's already came out and said he doesn't feel like it's going to do very well because of what happened at the award show. With him, between him, him and Chris, Chris Rock, oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. there's a lot of speculation already that the movie is going to fail. It, it actually does not even—it's not even coming out into theaters. It's going to be an Apple Plus movie. Oh well, yeah, that right there. So well, they're doing that to just be safe. <laughs> <laughs> Set the bar low. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Is there what's the? Is there a article to that one? Yeah, let's get this open here. Yeah. So, yeah, like he's promoting his new Apple TV Plus film, Emancipation. Yeah. So happy. It's good. Story of a man with widely recognized photo you know known as Whipped Pete. Sounds like a sad movie. <laughs> yeah, it, yep. it, it looks it looks <laughs> well, very it looks very dramatic. It's yeah. about slavery. So, so yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, like the style of film, though. It, oh. It's not it's not like an action type of it's movie. Like it's yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's drama. Strictly a drama movie. Yeah. Yeah. So they did. They do say this article says it's going to play in select theaters, and it hits Apple TV December 9th. <laughs> I, I want to know how they select those theaters. I was going to say our theater is not selected. I So, like, when we watched a movie that was select theaters, we no, had to not. I worked there for, like, four years. It's not going to happen. Yeah. No, we don't, we don't bring any, unless it has something to do with the moon. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me I'm lying. You know, Tell me I'm lying. It's the moon <laughs> in the movie. <laughs> but, well, he goes to sleep at night, so there is the moon. <laughs> Usually Columbus gets those, like, select. Do they? Yeah, yeah do they? it's usually a big, Toledo. big... Yeah. locations 14th sure. largest city in america i would do it well there you I, go. that is something i learned if you didn't know now you know <laughs> i could have made it up if you didn't know, <laughs> I made it you know. Up. he probably did who knows <laughs> <laughs> what else we got ashley um let's see here do, do, do. cardi b says she made one million for a 35 minute performance at a private event i wonder what that private performance was i from a million dollars in 35 minutes. That's not even an hourly wage. That's a 35 minute wage. <laughs> love. It was only for 400 people, too. Very I wonder if this was like an OnlyFans type right. of game. I was going to say I would have only needed five minutes. but. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
she deleted the tweet too. Oh, really? She tweeted it and then deleted it. Oh, okay, interesting. <laughs> interesting. interesting. So, hmm. must be must have been pretty provocative then. Or or the people that had that did the event did not want it could her. have been private. It was for elite bankers at a private event. That's not me. That's not me. <laughs> That's the okay, guy. Colin. That's that's the guys you were hanging out in Miami. With. Come on here, but you are. You got that right. You got that right. Come on down, Cardi B. That is not me. <laughs> Elite bankers. I love how they use that. I, I'd like they, to they change my actual there. job title to Elite bankers. <laughs> I'm going to talk to him. I'm going to talk to my boss about that in the morning. I mean, honestly, just anything elite just sounds better. <laughs> we are 400 elite bankers. <laughs> I'm an elite, <laughs> elite banker. I am the most elite banker in town because nobody else is calling themselves that. <laughs> That is one the way one, to the go. Only. <laughs> uh, so far, this is the only like headline that I recognize. Uh, yeah. Kirstie Alley dead after battle with cancer. I heard about this. She, I didn't realize she was 70... 71. 71 years mm-hmm. old. Oh, I might not know who that is. Kirstie Alley, you ever, you ever watch the movies uh, Look Who's Talking? Look Who's Talking 2. Um, or It Takes Two with the Olsen twins. Um, no. <laughs> What was the other well, one? You're all you're all alone here. She was in Cheers. Yeah, yeah she was. Okay. All, yeah, she all was right. in Cheers. Maybe I've seen yeah. her in Cheers. Yeah, she was the. I've seen Cheers. I've she seen was Cheers. the one who took over for Olivia Newton-John when mm-hmm. Olivia uh, Newton-John left. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I didn't watch Cheers. She she was also um, on the Goldbergs, Scream Queens, and the Masked Singer. Scream Queens. I watched Scream Queens. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So. She was in a lot of older movies. A lot of like a lot of eighties, yeah. a lot of early nineties. Yeah. 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 She played in a lot of movies with John Travolta. A lot of movies wow. with John Travolta. Yes. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Quite the okay. title. All right. <laughs> yeah. Sorry to hear Just, we're passing. Sorry to name drop. Rest in peace. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I can't believe I didn't, why didn't they said nobody knew she had cancer. It was like uh Oh, yeah, because she kept it. Everybody herself. seemed surprised. Yeah, the article that I read was that her daughters actually like came out and said, "Hey, our mom just passed away mm-hmm. after a short battle with cancer." Yeah. So yeah, huh. it's crazy how quick it could happen. I didn't realize she was that old, to be honest with you. So that means John Travolta's got to be up there. Oh, too. I knew he was uh, like yeah. seventy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Eddie Murphy and Jonah Hill star in the teaser for Netflix comedy You People. I bet that's hilarious. Dude, yes. It's got to be good. I yeah. got to see that. <laughs> that's a unique there, combination. Yeah. Like, there, it was, works. there was a trailer I saw for this, actually, and it just has Jonah Hill. He's got a beard, and he's got slick back hair, and he looks at oh, Eddie yeah. Murphy, and he's talking to him like, he says something to him like, like how, he's like, what do you mean, you people? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, they've both done any number of hilarious things, but oh. I was just thinking about Eddie Murphy the other day. He he hosted Saturday Night Live around Christmas a year or two ago. Okay. And it was it was one of the funniest episodes of Saturday Night Live that I'd seen in a while. Like, not ever, but up there in a long period of recent history. It was Dude, so funny. One of my favorite of all time movies is Beverly Hills Cop. Mm-hmm. I mean, oh. Eddie Murphy in the 80s was... The new coming of, of from right. Richard Pryor. Mm-hmm. He's still hilarious. Yeah, he's he's hilarious. Eddie Murphy Raw. I, I, you got you got to see that Saturday Night Live episode. Honestly, I was thinking. Dude, I was just thinking about. That. I'm telling you guys right now, the shit that he said in Eddie Murphy Raw, he would be canceled before it even aired. <laughs> yep. I mean, I, I, have you guys ever seen? I Probably not. not. No. Okay. One of the things you should YouTube tonight <laughs> is on your way home. YouTube Eddie Murphy Raw. He's in a uh, complete red leather jacket or le- red leather jumpsuit, and he does his first comedy stand up. He's 19 years old by 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 the way at this point in time, 19, 20 years old. And also at this time, Eddie Murphy has like four houses in Malibu and Hollywood. I mean, he was the king of Hollywood during the 80s, and. <laughs> The shit that he says, <laughs> the first sentence that he says when he walks out, you're just like, oh my god! <laughs> like you, if you would watch, like the people that would watch it today, they, they there's no way. There's, there, I would say, there's probably, <laughs> there's probably a good chance that ten percent of America 
um, could watch it and be like, that's pretty good. And then the other 90% of America would be like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious. That's so, funny. so <clears throat> I heard yeah, him say at some point recently, he's like, he's like, yeah, who would have thought 20, 30 years ago that like, Today, I would be a loving father of 10 and Bill Cosby would be in jail. Like, <laughs> like people, so many people would have betted on it being another way around. Exactly. So exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Some homework for Jason and Ashley. <laughs> um, Dion Sanders to change the game. Yes. So this is crazy. Uh, so this is something that I wrote on the, on the production slip. Um, so... Deion Sanders, we do, we all know who Deion Sanders is, right? Nope. Okay, Deion Sanders, prime time. So this guy, so he was, he, you know who Deion Sanders is? Okay, <laughs> so Deion Sanders is prime time, right? This, that was his nickname. He was an 80s football player. He played for the Atlanta Falcons. He also played for the 49ers. Yes, there was zero chance I was going to know who this was. <laughs> okay, well, also early 90s, I get probably more early 90s. But anyway, though, his nickname was prime time. He also played college football at Florida State. He was a uh, cross sport guy though. So like he played football and dominated football forever and then like he was like I'm going to go play baseball and then he dominated in baseball. Okay. Which is pretty impressive. Very impressive. Yeah. Um so his nickname was Primetime though just that's just what he was known by. He played cornerback. He also played dabbled in a little bit of wide receiver, punt returner, kick returner and then he played baseball. But now he's a coach, right? He's a coach in college football. Um, he was just this past year, he coached Jackson state university, which is like D two D three, something like that. His, uh, two sons played on the team, Shadir Sanders, which played quarterback and his other son, Shiloh Sanders, which played safety. And, um, he was getting like big name recruits. Like I'm talking like people, like kids who should be going to Alabama and Ohio State, they were going to sign up to go play at Jackson State University just because uh-huh. Dion was to play there. for prime time. Okay. Okay. To play for prime time. Yeah, exactly. So it was crazy, right? Colorado University, which is a D1 school, mm-hmm. just announced yesterday or two days ago that Dion Sanders has now taken the job. He will be their head coach next year. Dion Sanders was shown on all these different videos now, talking to the student body, right, or talking to the players. And he's like, he's like, listen, he's like, we're going to play hard. We're going to play fast. We're going to play tough. He's like, and I'm your new coach. He's like, and I'm coming with baggage, which means I'm bringing my players with me. He's like, so he's like, if you think you got a spot on this team, you might want to hit that transfer portal because there is no guarantee you're going to be playing for me. So like, because he already had, like, you got to think though, this dude had recruits. Right. For big time schools going to a little school. And now he's going to D1. So now he's in. He's going to be more in the spotlight. He's going to turn Colorado University into a complete, like, they're going to be the next fucking Alabama. <laughs> like, I, like, I don't know how else to say this, guys. <laughs> like, this is insane. And the fact that the college, that in the college world now, you're allowed to, as a player, you can say, I don't want to play for this school anymore, whatever reason. You can now enter your name into a transfer portal, and other colleges can now recruit you. Sure. Since Deion Sanders took the job at Colorado yesterday, yesterday, a thousand students entered the transfer portal trying to go to Colorado University. (laughs) This is absolutely insane. (laughs) Absolutely insane. So it's pretty wild. Yeah. Yeah. Like, if you, like, you, I'm telling you right now, mark my words, mark this fucking episode right now. Colorado (laughs) will win the Pac 12 (laughs) conference championship next year. <laughs> this dude has the number one wide receiver in the nation. December 6, 10 p.m. <laughs> right, right, right. But no, this dude has the number one wide receiver and cornerback in the nation committed to Colorado University. <laughs> this dude should be playing at Ohio State. <laughs> like that's all I'm saying. Like yeah. this is insane. But it's just because of the name and it's because uh, now don't get me wrong though, he was at Jackson State, I think, for two years total. Um at Jackson State University. They went undefeated. They were and they were dominating teams by like sixty points. It was it was, I mean, stupid. His son is a All great right. quarterback. Like I mean, it just it's 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 gonna change the it's gonna change college rules. They're gonna have to start making rules about this transfer portal. Like that's what everybody's talking um, about right now. Everything's gonna have to change because because of what you did. Yeah, it, it's just yeah. it's gonna be too much too fast. Yeah. So. 
That's pretty cool. Yeah. I, yeah. It's it, cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's Colorado University I and mean, the college playoff championship next year. <laughs> Why not? I mean, it's I just, really, I yeah. really don't follow sports, but yeah. that's interesting. <laughs> like, it, it is. It yeah. is. Yeah. For a guy who's just, you know, I mean, he's made a name for himself or whatever, but yeah, it's absolutely insane. Like literally, there's there's TikToks out there right now of like. <laughs> like guys like imitating like if they were the quarterback at Colorado right now <laughs> <laughs> and Deion Sanders walks in and back in a bag <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah and he's just like he's like he's like I already got my team coming and they're like <sighs> <laughs> Like, it's just hilarious. So, yeah. You're going to have to be good at school now. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I told my professor to suck at the other day. <laughs> and now they're going to make me learn. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, a lot of people, yeah, I mean, there's, like, guys, like, I'm telling you, there's, uh, so, like, in the in the college world of sports, so there's, there's uh, in the recruiting world, right, there's one-star players, two-star players, three-star players, four-star yep. players, five-star players, which is called blue-chip players, right? There was six transfers from Alabama put in the portal last night that were all four- and five-star players that want to go to Colorado. There was seven players from Oklahoma, four players from Ohio State. I mean, is he's getting – like, this dude doesn't even have to fucking recruit, man. Right. <laughs> like, he's he just up. he's just walking in. <laughs> <laughs> it just shows up. And there, there you go. <laughs> like, he doesn't even have to go to high school games to find people. <laughs> like, yeah. That's mind boggling to me. <laughs> me too. That's. I just I just don't know who I just don't know who could play for Ohio State or Alabama or Oklahoma and would want to play for Colorado State. You know, but apparently it's a bunch <laughs> of people that do. So there's a lot. It, yeah. it, well. Now I will say well, they're this. still unproven. Uh, you know, while it's not, it's not happened. There's everything think. that could go wrong. You got to think know. though, too. Uh, Alabama, Oklahoma, Ohio State. You know, the big name teams, right? They have a depth of yeah. players. No, that that's is fair. Deep. That's fair. So I mean, your starters are probably still going to be there. Well, well, we've seen that time and time again. Yeah, Ohio but, State's got a real talent for like showing that their third string quarterback is a rock star. Look at Joe Burrow. Look at Cardell Jones. Cardell Jones. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it, uh, Jardale Cones. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's an uh, inside joke. It was when Cardell Jones, when, uh, after Cardell Jones, who was the third string quarterback for Buckeyes, when he went okay. to the NFL, uh, there was a Ohio State player or a Ohio State quarterback who actually went down, and Cardell Jones tweeted out, and coming in for the Buckeyes, Jardell Cones. <laughs> so he just switched his name around, and it showed him with a mustache. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> um, but, you, but you're absolutely right. Just, at, you know, I was thinking about kids who, who really are going to play for these teams. Yeah. But you're right. There's some third-string guy sitting on the bench. Who's, who's still a th- four-star player. third-string at Ohio State, might not ever play, and is one of the best players in the country. Mm-hmm. You know, you could well, go you got to wait your turn. Can go to Colorado State and you know prob- maybe start. Although it sounds like he's got some steep competition, you know. Some yeah yeah. There's gonna be a shakedown. That <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah, I just feel bad for all the players that are there now. <laughs> like, Same. like like we're Same. all two star players. We thought we had a position. Right? Yeah, they're all going to Jackson State. Yeah, they're all going to Jackson State. <laughs> Jackson we'll State just it. lost their entire team. Yeah. <laughs> now here's the other part though. Colorado did go zero and nine this year, I believe. That's what I'm saying. It's not so, going to happen overnight. So, I don't know about you that. You think next year? Okay, all right, all right. I, I'm, I'm saying they win the Pac-12 next year. December, December in, 6th. In, in the Pac-12 is USC, <laughs> UCLA, MPM. University. I mean, we're talking about some big names. Oregon is in okay. Pac-12. Colorado is going to run the Pac-12 next year. Get, mark my words. All right, okay, okay, okay. We'll see. Yeah. What else you got, Ashley? Uh... I heard about this one. Carnival cruise ship passenger talks surviving for 20 hours in water after falling off ship. Okay, I didn't hear about this. You heard about it, though? I heard about this because I think he says something that he had to, like, fight off a creature. What? Yes. Whoa. (laughs) That would have been the time I gave up. (laughs) Just kill me. Yeah. Let me me see if the article, like, says that. What does that mean? Does that Uh, mean (laughs) a creature? A creature. Yeah. There was Loch Ness. (laughs) Is this like shark or is this like Kraken or like what's going on? (laughs) 
giant squid. <laughs> Dude, I, I wouldn't fuck with a giant squid. Right. Oh, right. Jellyfish? Oh, the Watch like out. man of war, like the Ooh, giant yeah. jellyfish. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah, Somebody I can't. It, I don't see like the quote in here, but he says that he had to do like something, 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 and then like fight off a creature, and then I don't think there's like any more. So he detail. fell. Off, he fell it's off. It's just a, a seagull that like <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> it just keeps packing him. But he <laughs> fell. He fell off the cruise ship, mm-hmm. and then he basically um, he had a fight for his life for twenty hours. Yeah. Yeah. Think about uh, treading water for that long. Right. For, fuck the sea creature. Think about treading yeah. water for 20 hours. I don't think I could do it. I couldn't do it either. So, I'd die. Yeah, he was on a five-day cruise uh, with 18 of his family members for Thanksgiving. You know, just on a cruise for wow. Thanksgiving. Uh, and he was reported it. missing by his sister okay. after he didn't make it back to his cabin that night. Interesting. So he was okay. reported that night. That's crazy. That's where I'm like... And they just forgot. They're like, lucky. They, they're, he's lucky he got found at all. Man, right. yeah, trying to really. find a guy in the water, yeah, right, hey, of I, the ocean. I know. I know we're not all sports freaks on here, but I do have some breaking news that actually just happened. So we're gonna get, try to get this Colorado podcast. Colorado State got okay. like another. No, but we're gonna try to get this podcast out tonight uh, for everybody. But Baker Mayfield, who was uh, waived by the Panthers, he was recently just signed to the Los Angeles Rams three minutes ago. Just so everybody knows. So we'll get that up tonight. We'll get this show up tonight for that. Breaking news. Breaking news. Breaking news. (laughs) (laughs) That's all I heard. It's like, like, what happened? (laughs) 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 All right, what else we got, Ashley? Uh, Let's see. I don't know if I could survive in the water for 20 hours. No. No. I'd die. I would eat some food. You couldn't even float. I'd be like, where's my beef? Well, if you're you're in the ocean, it's (laughs) so salty. That's true. That's true. The salt. <laughs> Somebody here, drop me a cow. <laughs> Wilson. <laughs> I still would watch that. Like I, was still... I still would watch that. <laughs> like, He's just going to try to float on the cow. Can you cow swim? <laughs> no, probably not. It just sinks. <laughs> just an automatic sinker. <laughs> <laughs> and it goes like straight on, like drops right on you, and you just go with it. Like, you just... <laughs> loop, loop, loop. <laughs> That's why they couldn't find you for twenty hours, right? <laughs> <laughs> Or, or that's how they found you in twenty hours because yeah, you were right? cow next right? <laughs> All right, what else we got here? Uh, goblin mode is the Oxford word of the year for twenty twenty two. What does that mean? Uh, goblin mode? Yeah. So it says it refers to a specific type of behavior that is unapologetically self-indulgent, lazy, slovenly, or greedy, typically in a way that rejects social norms or expectations. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I've been described as that way. <laughs> this is a like this is a real term now, like in Webster's yeah. or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oxford, yep. yeah, Oxford wow. Dictionary. It okay, got ninety three percent of the public vote. I mean, as D and D fellow D and D, that's a goblin. So yeah, <laughs> that, that works. It is. That's Fair. Yeah. It is. Yeah. I also. I thought goblins were like like mischievous. I mean that. Uh, they can't uh, hobgoblins. Yeah. You're Hob- thinking about Hob- hobgoblins. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's, there's a difference. I feel like hobgoblin Real talk. is like a different term to me. No, yeah, it is. It's a it's a goblin with a hob. <laughs> He's losing. I got him now. All right. No, a hobgoblin's different. Like all the way back to like literally like Shakespeare and like Midsummer Night's Dream and like Puck, the little hobgoblin little fucker that's running around like doing <laughs> doing like mischievous shit. A little fucker. <laughs> <laughs> Hob goblins are different. All right, so so goblin mode though. It, wh- what does it mean again? Tell me again. Uh, it means uh, lazy, a uh, lazy, slovenly, self indulgent. What's slovenly? Let's turn Wait. to the Oxford English. <laughs> <laughs> so so it's it's the opposite of beast mode, basically. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's goblin mode. Yeah. So it's just chill. Yeah, I feel like I should let you know. Chill, that's a chill I, dude. That that metaverse came in a close second. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> For oh, the word of the year. Wow, <laughs> that's interesting. I'd have voted for metaverse. Yeah. I don't need like. Yeah, I don't need goblin mode in my life. I don't need like ex girlfriends of mine to have like additional <laughs> goblin mode. To, like, <laughs> he was so goblin mode. He <laughs> was so goblin mode. Additional insults to like. <laughs> that's good. That's good. <laughs> 
I feel like we're just going to start seeing it now on TikTok all the time. Oh, yeah. Dude, I'm, I'm surrounded so by goblin kids, mode. so I'm just waiting. <laughs> yeah, right, right. <laughs> and I'll be like, I already knew. Like, they I'm ready. put it in the dictionary, maybe they'll stop using it. Cause it's, it's, true. it's true. It's true. Yeah. True. It's if no it's more. an urban dictionary. It's now, it's now, not, now not known as slang. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. yeah. Go- goblin mode was so last year. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's gonna be that was so like two minutes ago was so two minutes ago now it's all about being whale year <laughs> it's the year of the whale i don't even know what that means yet i'm starting it <laughs> 2023 the year of the whale, <laughs> year of the whale. <laughs> so whale mode right now just new so merch chill. are you adding like another zodiac <laughs> sleep like, upside sign. down in the ocean there you go new merch <laughs> whale mode <laughs> it's just uh it's just doing a belly smacker off yeah. the diving board that's right that's right yeah <laughs> let's try to get that in the dictionary yeah. next year i got a i got a buddy who, who does a diving competition every year i should just put him on the t-shirt and go whale mode whale mode <laughs> <laughs> that's what it means that's what it means when you're an expert diver you know well, mode. <laughs> all right. We're going okay. with 2023. Sure, well, all mode. right. Uh, well. Cocaine Bear movie inspired by true uh, events gets wild trailer showing animal going on a rampage. Yeah. That I, looks I, insane. I just saw the this. trailer today. Bear, yeah. bear is on cocaine. It's, yeah. It's, it's a true story. True too. story. <laughs> Basically, a bunch of cocaine fell out of a plane. Yes. Yeah. Like, I haven't even heard this news story. So it just came out. It just like they were smuggling it. It fell out of a plane into the woods, and this is the best news segment we've ever had. (laughs) And it's so funny because, like, I mean, think about it. Like a rampage bear, also on cocaine, grizzly bear. Yeah, like, and just like horror movie right there. Yeah, just kind of is. I mean, that's like. Jaws, sort of. Yeah. It's like a shark on yeah, it's, the same, it's, it's the same concept. Yeah. yeah. But no, yeah, well, the crazy part about it, so you have you have the drug dealers who are looking for the cocaine, and then you also have, like, the police trying to find the cocaine, and then you have, like... Bystanders. The spare who found the cocaine. Well, then you have the bear that found the cocaine, but then you have, like, these people who are like, oh, what? There's, you know, possibly a chance to find... Cocaine. Cocaine. <laughs> and so, like, they all go hunting for it, and this bear just is... Killing people left and right. <laughs> That's all it is. It's just, just on cocaine. It's yeah. us. It's yeah. me and you go to like, oh, there's just a bunch of cocaine in the woods. Yeah. Yeah. Bear. And the movie is called Bear. Cocaine Bear. Yeah. <laughs> but it's based on a true story. That's yeah. the part that I found very interesting. That's hilarious. I mean, except for the people that died. But, right. You know. Hey. I shouldn't have gone searching for coke. <laughs> Search for the Coke, you get the bear. Play the games, win super prizes. <laughs> okay. this, this, this might help the uh, cocaine bear. Use of deadly police robots will be allowed in San Francisco. Officials vote. <laughs> I knew. I just knew when that headline got read, Colin I, Colin's eyes were going to go rolling. <laughs> you ever seen Terminator? <laughs> Have they seen Terminator in San Francisco? <laughs> no, they're about to. <laughs> Skynet is going to kill us all. <laughs> so this is a real thing, though. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it says they're they're <laughs> potentially lethal. When do they? Go- <laughs> what is it? Hang on. Let me. When do they go get- online? Yeah, potentially lethal. <laughs> um, when do they go? When do they? They go only on- debated two hours. Yeah. <laughs> When, when do they like go online? <laughs> do they all just go to a table and like? Is it yeah. like the first of the year? Because I'm going to need to make a Christmas trip to San Francisco because I've always wanted to see it, but I could never go there now. There's so many homeless people in San Francisco too, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just going to start so, eliminating potentially, homeless though. people. It's just potentially. It's, it's, again, potentially. Potentially. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So they they have twelve <laughs> operational ground robots that are mostly used to defuse potential bombs or for reconnaissance and surveillance purposes. Okay. The department said it has no plans to arm the robots with guns no plans. At, this, <laughs> at this time yeah officials yeah. say the ordinance will allow police to equip the devices with explosives so <laughs> so they just suicide destruct yes yeah. okay <laughs> have a bunch of kamikaze robots 
So it just runs up, hugs you, and then boom. <laughs> like, yeah. They're up for a second vote next week. So. Okay. Okay. I am legend. Okay. So we need to go to San Francisco right now because I've always wanted to see it. But like, I might have to change my trip tomorrow. It's so like I can always go back to the Dominican Republic. That's safe. Uh, it's apparently San Francisco that's now like the nightmare territory. San Francisco just turned into Oakland. <laughs> Welcome um, to Compton. I think so. In unrelated news, I think I'm going to move to Canada. <laughs> <laughs> they all seem really nice. There's a lot of space. Um, uh, wow! That's oh insane. my God, that is in, that is insane. <laughs> that is insane. <laughs> so uh, Ohio State is in the playoffs. Thank God. Although I'm scared. Me too. I'm very scared. I mean, the Michigan game broke my heart, um, as you know. And Georgia looks good. Looks good? <laughs> yeah. Okay. What, they're 12-0? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Dude, I, dude, they played LSU last game, and I thought LSU – so uh, we, we've talked about that I sports bet and stuff like that. So LSU was given – 17 and a half points. Sure. Okay. So they're plus 17 and a half. I took LSU because I was like, there's no way Georgia's going to beat LSU by <laughs> 17 and a half points. They beat them by 20. So, I, I mean, I just missed it, but I picked LSU because I was like, oh, this is easy. Right. Yeah. right. Yeah. Not even close, bro. <laughs> Not even fucking close. I'll tell you what. I'm glad that we don't have. 50 to 20 was the score, or 50 to 30 was the score. I'm glad that we don't have to play Utah because they obviously were not playing like that all year. They were like nine and three. They weren't playing like that the entire game. But like I watched them play, um, and at play USC. At yeah. damn, they looked good in the second half of that game, especially the fourth quarter. They were just lighting it up, man. Yeah. I mean, they they were on a hot streak. Like it's fun to watch almost anybody, unless it's against your team. Yeah, um, yeah. You know, but One, you just now, see them get on a hot streak yeah. every now and then, and like any team, it's yeah. fun to watch. So the fact that Kansas State beat TCU, yeah, that is what solidified Ohio State going into the playoffs. Correct, but I think we were going when Utah won, no matter what. Sure, the the Kansas State win was almost like a <laughs> you got it. Um, but oh. the fact though that TCU never changed after they got beat by a number eleven team, I don't understand that one. But I do now. But put in, but you know put in a ten and two Alabama over that. No, here's here's why here's here's why it didn't happen like that. Because they wanted Ohio State to go against Georgia, and they wanted Michigan to play TCU. Because if those two teams meet in the, in the championship national championship, game, ratings will go through the fucking roof. This state will come off the chain. Like I'm gonna have to take time off work okay. because <laughs> it, it's, you know honestly I don't even need the time if we win like I need the time if we lose to like try to not kill myself <laughs> like I have it's fair I have that's handled, a fair point I'm I'm like three Michigan losses in in my entire like fandom history and like they're rough man and like I don't know if I can handle a second in in the space of one year. Right, like us playing Michigan again is the best thing that could ever happen, or it's the worst thing that could ever happen. Yeah, and like that just scares the shit out of me. Although TCU, though, I tell you what, I'm gonna want to die. TCU's tough. Michigan has they have their hands full themselves. I they will do. say that both of us have our hands full. Us beating Georgia alone, I I don't I don't know how we're gonna do it. From how we looked against Michigan, there's no fucking way in hell we're going to pull us. And then Smith and Jagba just... Not if we're playing like that. Well, and then Smith and Jagba just said that he's 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 protecting himself for the draft, so he's not playing, yeah. which was our star wide receiver. So I'm following. I'm, so, yeah, it's, it's just... Uh, no, you're good. You're good. Uh, so, yeah, it's... Um, you know, I would have loved to see Smith and Jagba play. Um, me too. This year. Um, especially in that out, game. So. Yeah. Um, but I get he's got to protect his paycheck. I kind of get that. Not, you know, um, it's been happening for years. I've come has, to accept it. It has, and I and I don't blame. I don't blame the player. I yeah. don't blame the player. I, I I first came to terms with that, or I first the first time that ever happened, where I was just like, "What the fuck is going on here?" Is when Ted Ginn Jr. returned a kick return for a touchdown against Miami in the Fiesta Bowl against the Miami Hurricanes. And then he celebrated, and then he walked off the field, and I was like, "What? Why is he not coming back? <laughs> right? <laughs> what the fuck's he doing?" 
And then it came out and said, well, he didn't feel good after that celebration, so he's going to sit the rest of the game. But this is the big game. This is a, this is a goddamn championship. What do you, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> yeah. And then it's just like, well, this is what you do. that's what you do because you, you're going to get drafted to the NFL. You're going to make millions you're, of you're gonna dollars. You're going to make millions of dollars. Yeah. You protect that fucking ankle. Yeah. So I get it. I get it on that aspect. I do too. I don't blame the players. Though. I don't. It does suck. It's just how it is. It's how it is. I, I, because if they get hurt, they're done. They're done. You, yeah. you can't look anybody in the eye and tell them that they, they shouldn't take the opportunity to make millions right. of dollars right. by exactly. doing nothing other than just right. not playing and not getting hurt. Yeah. But it blows. Yeah, it does. So we'll see. Georgia will be a tough, tough task. Tough task. It's not going to be an easy game. Although Ryan Day... Came out, came out on. If um, anybody could do it, it'd be us. Well, I will. Yes, but I will say this so too. Ryan Day, the head coach for the Ohio State Buckeyes, did come out and say on Saturday he was introduced or he was interviewed on game day, and on game day he said, um, "This was before the Kansas State game," and he said, "If we get back into the to the playoffs, I just want to warn everybody right now that we will steamroll everyone." I couldn't I, have asked for a better answer out of my coach. I'll I say that much. I will cry tears of joy. If we win another national championship this year, that'd be, and we beat Michigan in the championship to do it, like that would be the greatest thing that ever happened to me. <laughs> I agree. But I if agree. we lost that game, I would just want to die. Let me ask you this. Would you rather lose against Georgia first round or lose against Michigan making it to the championship? Is that really like, a question I have to answer? I'd rather lose to Georgia. Okay. I can't handle another Michigan. <laughs> I can't. I can't do it. I'm right, I'm there with you. I'm there with you. I can't I do another Michigan loss this year. I don't know if I can handle one next year either. I can't. I don't know if I can handle another one ever again. That'd be, <laughs> All right. I went like well, ten years without one, and I got spoiled. I get it. Really bad. I get it. What else we got, Ashley? Uh, the first trailer for Transformers: Rise of the Beasts is here. Heard about this? I didn't know they were kept making Transformers. <laughs> Is Shia LaBeouf still in them? Right. That'd be, no. That'd be no. great. Is that, <laughs> that'd be, that'd be great. Is that Hot Girl still in them? No. Oh, uh, no. Yeah, well, one good. of them is. I'm sure there is a Hot Girl in what it. What does Megan Fox look like anymore? So, uh, pull it up. Used. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right. I don't know. I'm really terrible with actors. I don't know who any of these people are. Okay. So the cast includes Anthony Ramos. Okay. Dom- Dominique Fishback. Uh, Luna Lauren Velez and Toby McGuire. <laughs> That'd be great. Yeah. That'd be great. <laughs> no, Toby, it's N W I G W E. I will horribly pronounce that. Okay. It's true. Uh, Ron Perlman is playing Optimus Prime. Pete Davidson's going to play Mirage. <laughs> I have Peter Cullen is voicing Optimus. Uh, they're both are. Oh, okay. At the same time? Uh, no, there's two different. There's two different Optimus Primes. There's oh, okay. A, uh, yeah, okay. He's, yeah. There's I, Optimus Prime. There's Optimus Subprime. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Oh, apparently. Okay. Yeah, Paramount he, plans to keep the franchise going after this one too. I mean, why okay, not? I'm gonna make a prediction. Pete Davidson is gonna nail the hot girl in this movie before we're all said and done. <laughs> so yeah, Peter Cullen plays Optimus Prime, or the voice of Optimus Prime, yes. right? Um, Isn't that a thing? Isn't he keep dating like these incredibly attractive women? And he looks like a <laughs> he looks like a homeless anorexic teenager. Oh, Ron Perlman plays Optimus Primal, the leader of the Maximals who transforms into gorillas. Oh, I was gonna say okay. the the screen cap of this trailer looks very interesting. Yeah, yeah. Peter Peter Dinklage plays uh, Scourge, the leader of the Terracons. Okay, there's a lot going Scourge on in this is, movie. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's been a long time since I heard all these Transformer names. Yes, yeah. I did not know that Pete Davidson was going to be in the movie though. <laughs> he tra- he's um, he plays as Mirage, an Autobot spy who transforms into a silver blue Porsche 964. He will in real life have sex with the hot girl in this movie. <laughs> I'm calling it. I'm I was calling like, I think it. he's a robot in this one, so I'm not sure how that's going to work out. Real life in yeah. real life, the robot. <laughs> Pete Davidson. Who doesn't? Person. Who doesn't Pete Davidson have sex with? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Isn't he's now dating? Um, who was it? Probably Emma Watson at this point. I don't no, know. no, uh, Emily Ratajkowski. <laughs> I don't know who that is. She's a world famous Veronica uh, Secrets model. Victoria Secret. Victoria Secret. Yeah. Secret. <laughs> I said Veronica. Dude, is there just some like what? <laughs> what is happening with that guy? <laughs> he's hung, man. 
it, <laughs> is that even like is that even it? He I've, just like, I've heard the dude is very funny. Mm. Oh, Great. he's hilarious. Okay. So, yeah. I mean, he's yeah. hilarious. I don't I, buy it. <laughs> there are a lot of funny people in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of comedians out there. Most of them are just heroin addicts. <laughs> There are ones that don't look like anorexic teenagers. <laughs> homeless, homeless anorexic teenage anorexic. Dude, teenagers. Uh, the the stories that you hear a lot throughout Hollywood is that the dude is absolutely hung though. He's probably got like a twelve inch dick. It's like gotta all, be it. All of Hollywood. Like, I mean, he is saying. he's rich too. Yeah, that helps. Yeah, <laughs> he's just famous for dating hot girls. I, now. I have heard like, though. I have heard to Ashley's. Uh, uh, what she said, though, you know, I have heard that he's very authentic, though. Yeah. There's no, there's no faking his personality. He's yeah. very genuine. So. Just. <laughs> I'm just saying, none of us have dated any. Of the <laughs> <laughs> Emily, why don't you lose Pete and get a hold of Colin? <laughs> I'm available. I'm available. <laughs> yeah, emotionally. <laughs> Yeah. And physically. <laughs> hey. <laughs> All right, what else we got? Uh, the last thing is Colin wants to be an atomic priest. Yeah, what is this about? Okay. <laughs> okay. I thought we were going to talk about this on another episode. All right. So, okay. So, I was unprepared to talk about this right now, though. <laughs> So, so you're aware of the fact that nuclear material can remain dangerous for thousands, tens of thousands of years, right? Sure. It I mean, can. Okay. okay. It can. Sure. Um, that's, a, that's true. That's a thing. <laughs> gotcha. um, fact. There is, there, and that creates a serious problem for how, over that period of time, do we indicate that it's dangerous and you should stay away? There is absolutely no reason to believe that we will share a language with, you know, humans 10,000 years from now. It might not even be humans. Uh, there could be – there's there's no reason to think over that period of time, uh, you know, we might not evolve or, or there could even be some other species or, or maybe it is us and we just don't uh, – you know, we, we, couldn't, we couldn't read the Egyptians' writing for thousands of years until we found the Rosetta Stone and cracked it. That was only a couple hundred years ago. So, you know, so so before I talk about He's the thought about this, <laughs> I have. Well, I have. It's not. It's not just me. I. It, it, I mean, I. I didn't just start thinking about this <laughs> right. one day. I, I read an article okay. about this. Okay. Um, I, I should have found the article. Um, I probably would have if we had. Some. <laughs> but, the, uh, but but so but so give it a little thought. How, how how would you try to how would you try to communicate to future generations that, hey, how, what would you do? What would you do with nuclear waste? That or, or something that was incredibly dangerous that needed to remain locked away for thousands of years. But ha- how do you communicate that message to future generations that that might not share your language, might not have our records? What uh, there's any number of things that could happen over that prolonged period of time. That's a tough question to answer. It is, and so uh, you know, there are people that say hide it, lock it away. Um, yeah, well, that was the first thing that came to my mind was time capsule. I don't know. Well, uh, you know, but you bury something deep and you and you make it and you seal it up and you try to make it so nobody can ever find it. And that's going to lead people to want to do it. We're doing it now. Uh, the Egyptians are another great example. They tried to do that with some of their tombs, with some of the, those kind of things. They tried to hide them. They tried to seal them away. And what have we spent an incredible amount of time doing trying to uncover them? Yeah. Um, you know, we bury it under as three miles of concrete, somebody's going to start trying to chip it away. Um, you know, we could use pictograms, but that might not last that long. And so my favorite solution that I've heard to it and my new favorite job, <laughs> dream job, <laughs> is it was suggested that we institute an organization of, of essentially atomic priests. Uh, this, this group, this sect that is, job is to carry on the message carry on that education like like not necessarily in a worshipful way but like but like a religion yeah Uh, Yeah. you know those are the messages that we have successfully translated for thousands of years and not all of them have a lot of them have died out yeah but uh, you know we've carried on christianity for a couple thousand years muslim nearly as long the jewish tradition the hebrew tradition is carried on for 
three or four thousand years. Uh, you know, that's how we have successfully perpetrated a message. True. And so that is my favorite answer that I've heard. A, it sounds fun, but then there's also some guy whose job is atomic priest. <laughs> right. And I'm like, the title. I'm like, that is fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> what a what a great. What a great title! I want I, my costume is going to be like I, I'm like, hoping, a, like a mad be scientist. Like lime green. <laughs> yeah. I was hoping like red, like wizard's robes, and like a picture of like a mushroom cloud, like on the on the chest. Yeah. So. Bill Bill Nye is the leader. <laughs> Do you guys want to be atomic priests? I mean. I'm not, not going to say no. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? It's yeah. kind of like how like traditions are passed down in yeah. a way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like developing your own educational way of carrying a message. I mean, yeah. Do, do you guys have thoughts about how you try to translate a message of, of danger, stay away to to future generations, maybe maybe thousands of years from now? No. Most Any of, other thoughts? Most of the time, I try to figure out how to get through this day. <laughs> Um, <laughs> to be honest, honestly, know. though, all I think of the movie is Fifth Element. Like, I didn't see it. Really, it's a great movie. You should no, check it out. Is it about this? Could they have used Atomic Priest? It's kind of. I think they yeah, did it. Yeah. They did it in a way. Yeah. 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 I, I, I through a there's, person. There's like no through, full proof right? way. Yeah. Yeah. They did it through a through an individual. Yeah. We so we so we just you know freeze somebody. <laughs> Yeah, it's basically well, what they did. <laughs> yeah, but you like, just get thought out once a generation and be like, "Don't do it." <laughs> so, so like, but but even but even if you did, all right, that, freeze them back up. Thanks. Even if you Got did that, and even if the cryogenics worked, uh, you know, there's no reason to think that when you wake him up in a couple generations, right. like he's going to be able to communicate. It's the same yeah. problem. So, yeah. so that's what they did in the movies. So, they they made like a a cult <laughs> kind of like that to movie. carry on that I was going to say, who's to say that your atomic priest is not yeah. going to become a religion? Yeah. It, it very well might. It wouldn't, it wouldn't right. start out that way, but there's, uh, yeah. you know, you give it, ten, you give it 10,000 years, it might be a religion, right. yeah. but kind that of, might be good. Have you seen the movie uh, Idiocracy? No. You guys haven't seen that? Yeah. It's, it's about uh, basically two people who um, are like frozen, mm-hmm. right? And they wake up like thousands of years later to realize that, um, they've gone away from like education, so everybody in the world is a complete like imbecile, and they're the <laughs> only two people on Earth who are like smart, <laughs> and like so like like everybody's like dying at rapid rates because they can't figure out how to use like a water system to like for crops, and like <laughs> like they're just like you just got like turn it on. <laughs> <laughs> Just plug it in right here. <laughs> it's a, uh, it's a, uh, um, not Owen Wilson. It's Luke Wilson who plays the main character. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty good movie though. <laughs> like, there's a lot of like, like ridiculous things on there. He's like, he's like, we don't know who you are. So like, and, like they start to figure out like everybody is just an idiot. So like, <laughs> like they're like he's taking they're taking him to prison because they're like we don't know who you are. Like you're going to prison. He's like, all right, great. He's in line, and all of a sudden he like just like steps out of line. And he's like. Hey, I'm not supposed to be going to prison today. And they're like, oh, well, then you need to go in this line. <laughs> 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 he's like, great. So, like, you walked into prison, got out of line, like, got in a different line. <laughs> like, he's like, I just need my stuff back. And they're like, all right, here you go. And he just walks out. It's <laughs> <laughs> pretty good. That sounds fun. I don't watch that. It's a pretty, it's a pretty good movie. <laughs> I watch Fifth Element, too. That's, yeah. I, it's ex- yeah. that's exactly what it is. It's another yeah. cult classic. Yeah. yeah. Can you imagine that though? And if you, and if you like up? Die Hard, it's got a uh, what's his oh, name? Yeah. Bruce Willis. Yeah, yeah. Bruce Willis is in yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, I love Bruce Willis. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Can you imagine though waking up like <laughs> yeah. two hundred years from now and everybody's just like only if it's like Encino Man and like I just meet these doofus guys who bring me around and we drink. And <laughs> That'd yeah. be a good way to go about it. Did you see Encino Man? Oh yeah, yeah. who hasn't seen Encino? <laughs> Ow, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> The height of Poly Shore, man. Yeah. That's, I was like, it feels like a Poly Shore. Oh, yeah. yeah. I remember it now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Trying to get the tits there. <laughs> <laughs> Love that stuff. Hey, we want to thank you guys for coming on the show with us today. Ashley, you've been wonderful. Thank you for uh, emceeing for us today. There you go. Jason, thanks for coming on the show, man. Yeah. Really appreciate you. Appreciate all you do and um, spreading the education to the youth and, uh, you know, building up this uh, future of students coming into the workforce. Yeah. Really yeah. appreciate everything yeah. you do. Hey, we're Thanks signing off for tonight. Colin, 
Thank you, as always. Trey Grain signing off. Social Guys, you can find us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, iHeartMedia, and YouTube. Tip your waitresses. Later.